Welcome out, gamers and game vets, to this RGL.GG Invite Highlander Lower Bracket Finals match taking place between 3600 and WJQ308 Chinese Military Shovel. I am Alto, joined by Zagron to my side, Dolphin behind the camera, as always. Zag, how you doing tonight? I'm doing great, excited for this match. This is the Lower Bracket Finals, second to last match of the season, 3600 versus Military Shovel. We've been waiting for this one. Uh, these two have been close contenders all season for that runner-up spot. We believe them to be the second and third strongest teams, but in which order, you know, they might have different answers for you. So they're looking to settle that one here tonight. Right, and you know, the last time these two teams played was back in week one of playoffs, and it was a doozy. After a, uh, a fairly one-sided game on Lakeside, that being 3600's map pick, as they are the upper seed coming into this, Shovel came back with a lightning-fast vigil round that they ended up pulling out 2-1, won the first half of Upward in that final map, and then were unable to clinch, losing two halves in a row, letting 3600 move on to play in the upper bracket. But, you know, with, uh, with 3600 taking a fairly lopsided loss to Hood Naruto, they did take a round on Asheville, but that was about it. And Shovel having quite a easy time last week against Yi Yi. You know, the stage has been basically, or the, the slate has been wiped clean. You know, these two teams are coming back to go face each other and on completely different maps than last time. Yep, no more double elimination. This is for all the marbles. Second place on the line here. And yes, three new maps, completely different from last rotation coming in here. That pick ban, we can talk about that real quick. First things first, the thirty or the Chinese military shovel ban on Lakeside makes sense because they got four out on it. Thirty six hundred spawn vigil ban and product pick. So we're on product here first tonight. Right, yeah, and I should I should disclose now I am a sub on Shovel. I was fairly active in the map pick ban. So in in the first round they were debating between banning Lakeside and Product, knowing that whichever one didn't get banned would get picked. They went with the product ban. And then proceeded to, you know, we got kind of creamed on Lakeside. Yeah. Or well, Shovel banned product last time. Yeah, last time. Leading to a Lakeside pick. That didn't go so well, so it got switched around. And then despite originally banning Steel in the first match, 3600, you know, must have seen something they didn't like in Vigil. You know, having, it was a fairly close game. Both teams basically pushed five minutes every time. You know, if that, if it went to a fourth half, you know, still a toss up who would win, but must have, you know, preferred to have potentially taken the dice roll on Steel rather than going back to Vigil. So there's two of our maps gone from the start. And then, yeah, the product pick coming in. And despite Steel being up, which is something that, you know, was seen as maybe a weakness for 3600, Shovel went with Swiftwater after uh, their strong performance against it last week against Yee Yee and in some scrims, so... Yeah, should be something to look forward to. Zukima teams historically like Swiftwater. They just really enjoy the map. They play it very well, better than most teams, so coming through with that one for their pick. Uh, upward ban was after that, and then potential tiebreaker will be Asheville. So, you know, two cough maps in the rotation this time, as opposed to two stopwatches last time. Yeah, and, you know, one of the things that I think is interesting is that it's always important to remember that as the lower seed, you have the option of forcing double payload. No matter how the pick bans go, so long as you ban cough, you know, with both of your bans and pick payload the one time, you will be able to force double stopwatch just as a result of there being four stopwatch to three cough. But, you know, in this case, despite that kind of being the, the priority in the first pick ban between these two teams is to get that double stopwatch from Shovel, you know, things in Asheville really must have uh, felt confident, or I should say they must have felt really confident on Asheville to go, to allow that to be up instead of upward or steel. Yeah, I mean, from the pick ban there at the end, you're, you're basically letting them take Asheville because you're getting the lake side out at the start you just don't want that on the field so that is what we have had what we have for you guys tonight we're getting all the players loaded into the serve for you only 12 minutes after the expected start time we're still on schedule we can go ahead and run down the rosters really quick on 3600 we're going to be having wish on scout mad on soldier johnny from cali on pyro joey lemons on demo man adam from on heavy flu Walrus on engineer casper on medic nixie on sniper and agb on spy and over on WJQ308, Chinese Military Shovel. Blank will be on Scout, Soapy on Soldier, Melon on Pyro, Exile on Demoman, Zukima on Heavy, Spamfest on Engineer, Supreme Toad or Marty on Medic, Fallen Gord on Sniper, and Evil on Spy. 
You all know these rosters very well by this point in the season. Tons of established players on these teams. Everyone going to be looking to try and get that second place finish minimum and a shot at the title. A lot of former champions on both these teams as well. And a lot of strong, strong newcomers coming through, especially on 3600 side. I say newcomers, but they've been in RGL for quite a, f a few seasons now. It's just they they're competing at some legacy names here. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, you know, for for some of the maybe newer players in that are watching this, you know, neither not familiar with the names or haven't been able to tune in all season, you know, the majority of these players have tons of experience in Invite, if not, you know, dating back to UGC Platinum. Some of the newer names in here are Flu Walrus, Casper, Blank, um, so far, and Joey Lemons. I'd say Joey Lemons yeah, Joey is Lemons still is name, yeah. relatively new. You know, he's been he's been around high advanced slash challenger invite scene for quite some time, but you know, compared to people like Spamfest who have been at the top level of TF2 since what 2013? Some of our viewers were in diapers. Somewhere around there, yeah. <laughs> if uh, if even here yet, at least that's how I feel like they play in pugs. But my complaints aside, we've got a good one tonight. So. Who, Zag, are you, what What are you going to be looking for here? Because, you know, but looking between these two rosters, I don't really see any, any class comparisons that immediately jump out as super one-sided, other than maybe Soapy versus Mad on Soldier, just due to Mad's, you know, relative lack of experience. But we've seen Mad's play throughout the season be, you know, more than good enough for invite playoffs. So I even hesitate to call that that much of a mismatch. I see two major matchups I want to look at. The first one is the easy one. It's Highlander and run double uh, double Koth and Swiftwater as our stopwatch. Sniper comparison. Nixie versus Fallen Lord. Both them very tenured snipers. Fallen having a much more successful career, I'd say. He has multiple MVPs and a, a championship as well behind him. So eh, every, everyone RGL knows awards. he can pop off. Yeah, everyone knows Fallen can pop off. He's super consistent. Nixie, on their hand, is a lot more of a wild card. Sometimes he shows up really strong. Sometimes he has a bit of a weaker game. And he can vary from half to half, where, you know, sometimes you'll see him go really negative and have a bad game. Next one, he'll be carrying his team. So I want to see if Nixie's able to kind of stand up to the consistency that Fallen Lord can bring. Yeah, definitely. Since, I mean, you know, especially starting on product, right? When you have these two teams as, you know, fairly even on paper as they are, a lot of the times what ends up coming, what it comes down to is just, you know, being able to show up in the moment, perform in each, you know, fight, and then, you know, maintain a mental advantage and play to the core strengths of Highlander, right? We're on product that is a, you know, hard worshiper of the Highlander holy trinity of scout, demo, and sniper. So those are those are going to be kind of your obvious, you know, leans to see. Okay, well, if one demo man's you know hard outperforming another, then it's very likely his team will win, unless the enemy scout and sniper are kind of going all both going off to neutralize that. Um, one thing though that I do want to pay attention to is the pyros actually, because yep, that's what I was going to bring up after. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm glad we're on the same wavelength because. We've casted a lot of 3600 matches, so we've had the opportunity to see Johnny play often. He's been really solid on Pyro. I've I've ragged on him a little in the past for being, you know, a bit of a uh, bit of a walk forward and stop thinking kind of player, which I play Pyro the same way, so I can't blame him, but you know when you're playing in invite playoffs, you got to be have a little bit more restraint, but all of the moves he's made this season, I feel like are almost always correct. And they're not these big flashy like double reflect kills it's just you know like slight positioning and uber fights to air blast someone behind a prop instead of you know back to safety being in the right spot you know catching spies out so I, I i'm looking to see we haven't been able to cast shovel as much so melon hasn't had that spotlight but i'm going to be looking for her to kind of match arts in a lot of the or johnny excuse me in a lot of those you know micro scenes yeah, in the same way that I would say Fallen is like the consistent high level threat and Nixie's kind of like uh hope to match him kind of player in this match. I feel like it's the opposite true uh for Johnny from Cali and Mellon, where Johnny has been far and away the best pyro this season, just from what I've seen him play, what I've seen him do. He's always in the right position. He he's he very rarely makes mechanical errors, and it just feels like he's very a very strong presence for the combo of 3600. Meanwhile, Melon, she has had her moments when she's been on cast. We've seen her do very good things, but she also has the moments where she's just inconsistent. So things get past her, misses a key reflect, maybe is out of position, Uber dies in a bad time. So again, we're double double cough here. So 
if Melon needs Melon when, for Melon to show up, she needs to stay alive and deny the bombs that we're gonna see over and over on Koth. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Mad's the type of player where he's aggressive, he likes to get in there, he likes to play the game. He's gonna be going for these, you know. I, I'm not expecting to see a lot of uh, black box on Highlander House Soldier out of Mad this game. So she's gonna be tested, and she's gonna be tested often. That with AGB kind of syncing up on the backside. Um, you know, and Spy is obviously always a wild card for both teams in Highlander, right? Sometimes you'll see a Spy pop off, go 30 and, like, 15, with 500 DPM, completely rolling a team. Then, same map, next half, they start out 1 and 7. Because that's just kind of that class, you know, there's, there's enough variance in that class that you can see that. But Evil is definitely someone I'm going to be keeping an eye on because he can have the... You know, I feel like he can be kind of hot or cold as well. Sometimes he can be pulling off 3Ks every fight and, you know, just getting three kills in a single revolver clip. But sometimes, you know, might just get caught out a couple times in a row and lose that momentum. Yep, and we have this 60-second warning for you guys. Getting ready to get started here at 9.50 on the dot, only five minutes late. We can go ahead and do some quick predictions here. We'll start with uh, Viaduct product here since this is our first map. Alto, what you got? I'm going to go 4-2 for 3,600 here. I'm going to echo the score that they had on Asheville in the regular season. I think that Shovel's coming, maybe I'm biased here because, you know, I've been in the Discord, but I think they're coming into this match on kind of a hot streak. You know, they're a lot more confident than they were in the regular season on this map, but ultimately I think 3,600 is just going to be so comfortable on it that a lot of the catch-up work that Shovel's done is only going to get them to, you know, where 3,600 was in the regular season. Yeah, I see the tools on Shovel that if they are able to get in sync, start going off, they would be able to be really competitive on this map. But I feel like 3600 has just been too consistent overall this season. Their players are playing phenomenally, and this is their map pick. They're confident in it to pick it first. I feel 4-1 for 3600 is my prediction on this map. Perfectly timed as we go into the first mid-fight. Mid Shovel on red, 3600 on blue. This is the lower bracket finals for Invite Season 10. As both demo men are showing up to mid. Joey Lemon's going to be quite a bit faster than Exile. Exile going up through the valley side. Soapy whipping Zukima going in for an early bomb. In right onto Cliff. Takes almost no damage. But Exile and Zukima are both dead right away. Melon and Fallen going to fall right after. Supreme Toad gonna go down, that butter knife comes out of AGB, and it is a fast and furious mid for 3600. Yeah, Soapy at the end there just barely couldn't get the kill into Casper, took him low, but not able to take that medic down, and a very clean capture, no casualties for 3600 on this first mid, they're gonna have Uber, they're gonna have point, they're gonna have everyone up, that was just domination, we saw that aggressive mid uh, be attempted, it didn't work out for Shovel, meanwhile 3600 got all the cleanup. I'm pretty sure the first kill of that mid was Johnny killing Zukima. And I, I was watching Soapy's bomb. I need to know how a pyro WM1 dead heavy for the opening kill on a mid fight. But as I say this, you know, right back into it is Shovel Zukima going for the edge. They're going to be hit low, but Wish gives up, you know, when he was only one more shot away. Evil and AGB both going to go down. No spies up right now. Cap time has reverted. Bomb XL, very low though. Good reflect from Arts there to deny Soapy. Crater's on the fall. No Uber being forced there. Zuki's still trying to edge this point. Takes a lot more damage, but gets out. He's done a very good job. He gets chased down by Wish. Actually, stays alive 1 HP again. So Zuki does a very good job at tanking damage and getting the point edge and doesn't lose his life for it, which on heavy is crucial because that respawn is a long one. But now 90% on Uber here for Marty. Going to be trying to walk out of spawn. They're going to walk up and try to trade here. Yep. We're going to see Exile starting to walk up right here. Going to come in soon, but Nixie takes out Fallen, wins the SVS, and takes out Melon as well. Exile gets dropped in the Uber. Things are going terribly here for 3600. Here comes in AGB. Not going to find Marty on the back line. We'll get Rap Assassin to go down on point, so a, uh, a pity frag for Blank oh, there, but that's going to be the only one they get. That's the third time Sophie's been denied on his medic side. I want to talk about the mechanics of that Uber real quick, because what I just saw shows a lot of nervousness out of Shovel. Their Uber there was so mistimed, it was actually laughable. Exile took 100 damage early, whereas the first flash went onto his scout. So then he has to back up. He then gets a flash, his scout walks backwards. Melon thinks they're already in, so Melon walks forward, gets headshot because there's no distraction. And everything was off key there for Shovel on their first Uber. Wasn't looking good. And now Nixie, he's posted up here, gets two headshots in the downtime, denying this push a bit more. Another one, another win onto Fulmer. That's his third SVS win. He's on a 6k. And Evil will find the counter espionage, but AGB is about the only frag that Shovel can find right now. Zukima's gonna go down. Their combo is consistently in shambles. Evil's gonna get caught out. They are up on Uber right here, so they're gonna go in for an exchange. 
but there's some, you know, low HP on Blank already here. Adam on Cliff Casper hasn't even had to use yet. Now they have a way better river. Here comes in Joey Lemons getting in deep. Looks like Marty will be getting out from Cliff, but not too many other people on Shovel will. Soapy in, not going to find anything popping into a 1v9. And there goes Mad, but Zakima getting stabbed out means that, you know, that one pick onto a combat class that might be the first one they've gotten all game won't be able to be used that well. Yeah, and still point being held. It's 2 minutes 45 already off the clock. This is close to being a perfect round as Nixie snipes down Exile. Evil is the only one who's going to fear. He gets decloaked on a Nixie. 180 headshots him. 9k for Nixie. Fallen Spam Fest go down. They're holding forward onto point already. Trying to get the perfect round in the first one of this match. Another quick scope from Nixie onto blank. Point gets cleared. Nixie with an 11k in round one. Never dying. 21. That's the pop-off that we know he can do. All right, I'm hoping that this server has like mid uh, half log uploads. Over under seven kills for shovel in that entire round. Yeah, that that's a hard one. I have no idea. I feel like they actually might be below, which is really sad. That was a perfect round though, so it wouldn't be the most unexpected thing. Oh no, it's up. Yep, it's under thirty-four to six. Six kills for Shovel in that round, but this one's going a lot better. They already have two kills onto Adam and Mad. The crossbow kill onto Mad, actually. They're going to get Blue Wars and AGB too. Joey Lemons goes down, and this mid has flip-flopped. All of a sudden, Shovel looking very strong here. You know, get that first round out of your mind and just keep playing your game, and they do get the first capture of this one. Yeah, I mean, you, you can call it a courtesy round is what uh, is what Shovel's saying in their mumble right now. Fallen getting set up on Rock. They were unable to kill Casper, so the Ubers are still going to be even right here, and they'll likely attempt to repush soon, but, you know, progress, right? Yep, and both meds up on Uber now. We're going to have to see who decides to go first. Casper is walking up left side with Joey. Joey getting a solo. Now his scout getting a flash. It's counter Uber. Solo onto the Delman, so it's going to be a better Uber for Shovel here. But they do lose the combo class's wish. Chases down Zukima and Melon. Now bombed in from the soldier trying to get the kill onto Fallen Lord. Fallen gets chased all the way back to spawn, but now the combo is walking forward. Very clean push there from 3600. They're trying to clean up the point here. They get the capture, and now damage going down. Marty drops. Exile goes down. Adam with the cleanup. Another bomb from Sophie in late, but not anything once again. I don't know if Sophie has a kill yet this game. Uh, he got one in the last round, I think, onto a spy. Yeah, out of those six kills, three of them were on AGP, too. So <laughs> That's sad. Just goes to show you how you know bad that is. But yeah, losing, I think they lost Blank in that Uber really hurt them there. And it, it feels like Sophie's bombs have been really poorly timed this game. He's constantly, I don't know if he's dying in the beginning of fights and then trying to, you know, bomb in when he gets back up to, like, be the finisher. But it feels like he oh, keeps bombing it after the team's already dead. But there goes Joey Lemons and Nixie. People are going to go down, but you will take that demo pick. Uh, point cap being flooded in right now. Zukima super aggressive on concrete. Going to go down, but there is Soapy going in deep and kind of blows up. <laughs> hey, he got mad. Up. Yeah, it takes out mad. Oh, that that death that's from that's Exile is really bad. They got the capture, but Exile dying there means his spawn is 15 seconds. And now we see Adam on the point. There's no demo man to deny him. Going to just pop the fists out here and edge it. Now his scout and medic are back in. Trying to get more damage in. Joey going to throw spam over the point, and cap gets flipped instantly. Yeah, just that aggression from Zuki and Soapy felt really poorly thought out. I mean, they're coming back in. They're going to take out Fluors. Joey Lemons went down in that fight as well, so the point's going to leapfrog right back over to Shovel. You know, barely 10 seconds off the clock, if even. But, you know, could have been that could have been a lot better for them if they just didn't feed. Zuki playing up on barrels. This is the Yee Yee strat. Yeah, it is, isn't it? The player, not the team. Even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, we saw him do this multiple times in the product match that we ended up casting, but now Uber will be out for this Tundra, and Zukima gets collapsed there. That's what happens to Yi, and that's what's going to happen to Zukima here. Counter Uber gets popped out, Scout and Demo chasing in, trying to do damage. They get a kill onto Johnny, but Blank gets shredded on the back out, Fallen losing another SDS to Nixie, taking him down, and now 3600 is going to push back in. Yeah, just a bit too over-aggressive there. I don't, I don't know if the heavy on concrete was a... Strat Exile is going to get stabbed out, you know, going for maybe a bit of a desperation defense here, knowing his team is dead. They're delaying the cap for, I guess, uh, quite a couple oh, spawners, but there goes Look Casper. Look at that surf Casper. onto the he enemy pride. Pride. There's yeah. Blank in, but he's not going to find him. Every time Soapy is bombed with Casper, Casper has avoided it. He's served it perfectly. Casper's been playing a flawless game so far. I think he has maybe one death max. I don't even, I'm not even sure if he has one. He did but... not die in the first round. I don't think he's died yet either. Yeah. So Great game out of Casper so far. Point gets flipped back. 4.3600. They are down 40 seconds, but they have full Uber at. Yeah, Nixie going to win that SVS onto Fallen again, though. 
And with that Uber right there, goes oh, Joey's Mike popped up in the sky. But yeah, Joey Lemons now on quite a bit of a feed streak here. Consistently one of the first players going down, which you know means something in the way 3600 is playing this is wrong. Nixie trying to e uh, even out. We'll get a headshot on Melon played that side, but yeah. Great Uber Net Denial from Melon there to keep uh, pretty much everyone else safe. Zuki and Soki gonna go down. Evil caught out on the back line, but everyone in the combo is fine and they are re-aggroing this despite being down numbers. Here comes in Mad onto Marty, you know, hits a decent surf to get out. Exile will go down though, and this point cap is uh, not gonna go through, it looks like. Yeah, things looked good at the start there, but they just lost too many players in the re-entry. I wanna point out that Fallen Lord Marty got, got stabbed. forced back in his own main. This is yeah, that's not, not good. good. That's not good at all. Yeah, that's going to cost them big here. All of a sudden, the lead they built up and that Uber ad they would have gotten on this leapfrog is gone. So, Shovel all of a sudden going into a bad position. They're going to have to try and make up some space in this round. Spy going in, in the house. Evil is going to need to find a pick. Nixie would be a prime target here. Going to revolver him a couple shots, but he takes down Spamfest and lives. Yeah, so oh, there he goes will down. end up taking him out pick. on Cliff, though, and gets back behind. We'll get that pack. Good pressure coming out from Shovel right now. Spamfest going to be up on that respawn, but Soapy goes down. Johnny going to get sniped out, though. No pyro means no uh, denial for anything coming forward, but Casper goes down. Fallen finds another pick, finally taking out Casper for the first time in this game, but Exile will go down as well. That mini doing a lot in taking out Wish. With 10 seconds left, I think they're just clearing out everyone, knowing that they're probably going to be forced into overtime regardless. Blink getting on it now, though, to try to great shot out of Fallen to take out Adam right there. They're waiting for a spawn. Yeah, they got their spawner up there to cap it. Overtime does go, though. It's 0 0 on the clock. So, one captures all 3,600 are going to need here. They did lose Casper at the end of that, though. So, full Uber disad. Shovel do have a chance to win this round. They need to hold once with Uber and once without Uber. Yeah, and I need no one on Shovel to feed right now. Be that Exile, be that Zakima, be that Blank. And Fallen should ideally try to be dodging these SVSs. But Evil takes that. There you Nixie. go. Great pick there. Uber's going to come out right here. They're feeling it. Oh, Casper, that Casper. Up in main. Great bomb by Soapy, finally finding that timing, takes him out, Spamfest takes out Mad with the glow stick, and that is going to be a near wipe coming in there. It did cost them their Uber though, so spawns are still in favor of 3600. Casper will not have enough time for an Uber, but you know, if, if a fight gets long and drawn out, it would be in 3600's favor. Yep, that's the play that you want though. Trade that Uber for the kill on the medic. So now there's no Uber v no Uber for the win here. Nixie peeking and gets the SVS went on to fallen again. Evil not able to get anything this time. No pick classes. Nixie does die to stickies, but the fight's popping out of soldier! Farming in over the top. Mad does tons of damage to the combo and gets the medic kill. AGB going in, gets a stab onto Spamfest, and now it's so close, but shovel, they just don't have the players. They're gonna lose this mini sentry, the last line of defense, and in double overtime, we're gonna see 3600 take the second round. Yeah, a much, much closer half or round out of Shovel than that first round, but just a couple of poorly timed deaths there. I really dislike Soapy bombing when he did, just because, you know, you have those longer spawns, right? Going one for one, if, if you really want to get that damage off, maybe that's fine, but it felt like going in in that 99 was just asking to either be forced behind into a spot where you can't do as much, or where you're going to get, you know, killed immediately, which he does get forced behind. Maybe he found one kill on the flank there, but wasn't able to deny point, and... Then just, uh, was it Nixie won the SVS? I think that also coincided with that. Just, you know, set a, a bit of a poor precedent for the rest of how that round was going to go. So we are entering halftime here. And uh, I want to point out one thing, one key thing only. This has become what I like to call an uninteractive product game. Whichever team sniper has been alive has just been railing the entire server. The snipers right now are topping the scoreboards. Nixie, 17 kills. Fallen Lord, 14. We we got we, we saw Nixie win countless SVSs against Fallen, and granted, the SVS is 5-1 to one for Nixie right now, so Nixie's actually dominating on that front. But Fallen still racked up 14 kills despite losing four more SVSs. That's three less than Nixie. So if you take the, the, the SVS kills away, Fallen's actually out-fragging Nixie. And, and when, you... we, when we see Evil get those kills, that's when Fallen's allowed to pop off. Evil or Soapy actually killing Nixie. Whichever sniper is staying alive is going to win the game for their team. This map is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, just... Uh, it's, anyone who knows me knows uh, I've been riding the product is bad bus for quite some time now, but... Yeah, it really is a tale of two snipers right now. You know, whoever's alive is able to do a ton of great things. And on top of that, though, even despite losing the SVS 5-1, if you take away the sniper kills, four of Nixie's kills are on Spamfest, which, I, I mean, you know, no offense against Spamfest, but Engineer is engineer not players, really. the highest, you know, value class. It's called gilding for a reason. I will say, so, if you're going to snipe an Engineer, snipe Spamfest. Yeah, exactly. But Fallen's got four heavy picks. He's got a demo. He's got four pyros, which, you know... 
Guess who's right below the snipers on the kills <laughs> it's list? Johnny it's from Johnny from Cali. Let's go. Granted, four soldier kills, four spy kills. He's been doing a phenomenal job at defending his medic. And I want to check deaths. Yeah, no, no, I don't see any deaths for. Uh, no, wait, he has okay. deaths. Casper has three deaths. All of that happened four, in the second round. Four soldier kills, four spy kills. Sure, Melon's got one kill. Yeah, Melon does have one kill. We won't say tied, too much about tied it. Tied with Marty right now. <laughs> we won't say too much about it. So, I mean, getting those pyro kills, normally, I you know, it wouldn't be the most important thing, but Johnny's being very aggressive. He's covering a lot of ground, and by, you know, Casper went down a couple times in that last half, but a lot of those, or last round, but most of those were not things Johnny would have been able to prevent regardless. So he's being a threat right now, and, you know, Fallen's taking him out when he can, which is, you know, as you should be doing as a sniper. Because pyro kind of gets hard countered by anything with range. Yeah, it's a very interesting half we just saw. If you take out the perfect round, right, the the match was perfect, like super close. Double overtime in the second round. We'll, we'll say that Shovel had to ramp up a bit. You know, first round didn't go very well. Fallen was near the bottom of the scoreboard. All of a sudden, they get back in their groove and it gets double overtimed. I feel like if we keep going in this trajectory, you know, things might start flipping. We might see Shovel take some rounds here, be a bit more decisive. Uh, but we'll have to see how that turns out here, as both teams definitely have a foot in this game, even though it is 2-0 for 3600. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, if, if 3600 stays as they are and Shovel continues to climb up, then, you know, maybe we see a, a comeback start to come in or it just, you know, they that was a bit of a upswing for them. You know, they, they kind of overperformed. But here comes in Matt. Green Lemon's going to go down immediately, though. Melon going to get sniped out as well. Tons of kills being traded back and forth. Both soldiers dead, as are certain combo members. FanFest hits super low, not getting healed, going to go down. But Evil finds Casper in the back line. That revolver out in main. Gonna get Nixie killed too. He's gonna shoot Johnny in the back too. Evil had a phenomenal mid there. Just clean things up at the end. That said, Shovel were winning that mid from the beginning. They got the entry pick onto Joey Lemons, like you mentioned. And after the Dome Man goes down, you know, all you can do is walk forward and hope for the best for 3600. They end up losing that one. Casper goes down and Shovel on a good foot again in this third round. This almost feels like, if you remember Hood versus 3600 back on Lakeside, okay. remember when Hood was winning early because, or uh, 3600 because Bull kept getting caught out? It feels like Joey Lemons is now the one consistently getting caught out and dying super early all the time, but the repush is starting to come in right now. Good damage out of Exile, gonna force everyone back a little AGB's bit. AGB's got to cloak on Mad. Zukima, turns on him. What a phenomenal play from Zuki there. But the force does come out from that bomb over the top, and it's not gonna get anything in return. They're gonna get a couple cleanup kills on the Sackers, get their soldier bombing over the top, but Sobi will get taken down. That was a bit aggressive, and he will lose his life for it. And with that Uber gone, all of a sudden now, 3600, they can try to walk forward. And I feel like this is something we've seen a couple times now with Shovel just losing too many players in these post fights. You know, Exotic Ruben and Deny there. Exile is going to get killed, popped out right in front of Nixie. So is Zakima. Uh, Fallen's going to take out Adam there. And Fluo is actually two picks before yeah, long Fallen spawns back too. in main. Yeah, on those long spawns should help re push, but Casper does have Uber. But yeah, it just feels like these defenses from. Shovel can't happen because they lose Soapy very frequently in the post fights. Yeah, that said, Matt at the end there going over the top and getting reflected by Melon. His spawn timer will be elongated again. Soapy going over all alone onto the medic and soldier, or the sniper, and he's going to get the force and the kill onto that sniper. So great play by Soapy there. Realized there was no one standing in his way. Goes in and he's coming back in again, does some damage and gets out. Evil Exile do go d down though. That's a bit of a bad time to be losing them, but they are going to get this capture. Their spawns get elongated, but now's the repush. Great shot by Fallen onto Adam there. Samfest will go down though, and a lot of 3600 players behind Rock right now, but there is full Uber ad on the side of Shovel. They're gonna have to use their yeah, Marty gets forced. Blank coming in right here. Johnny gonna be doing his best to stuff that. Mad taking the opportunity to get behind. They will find Johnny. That's about it right there as the cap tries to come back in. Exile doing a decent amount of damage in main. Gonna hit Adam with a pipe. Stalls the cap time, but Fluoris okay, is walking over at eventually. the medic. He's doing a lot of zoning, and the will almost get the cap. Evil Marty, Marty gonna sniped. die though. Yeah, Marty's down to Nixie on that headshot. So Sack should be coming in from Shovel, trying to get forward. Everyone's flooding the point. They get Joey Madden, Nixie. This is looking good for Shovel. They're gonna get a lot of damage in. Although Zukima and Exile do go down, they have denied point, which is the, pretty much what you want to do. Casper has to go all the way back to spawn to keep his life, and they do keep his life. So you know that's good from 3600. But they denied that point for a long time. And they're gonna get below a minute on that clock. Oh, Fawn's gonna go down though. Was caught playing alone. AGBB cloaks on him and takes him out, which means this walk up is going to be free. They did deny it, but now they're looking at full Uber disad. You know, minute and a half or so, a little bit less up on the clock. You'll take that for a hold, but you just always love it to go a little bit better.
Yeah, work isn't done for shoveling though. That was a very, very good play on their end with Casper getting or with uh, Marty getting sniped. You have to do the best of what you have. And now they're gonna try and come back in from Cliff's side. Normally you try to sack for the force here, and they are gonna do that. Explosive class is going over. Casper taking on one and does pop in the air. Doesn't want to risk it. Melon, Soapy, Exile gonna go down. Counterbomb from Joey trying to get some space, some damage. Will get ran out a bit, but he just just zone people back. A lot of players down that sack, but it's fine. We have Marty and Fallen Alive building that Uber. Shovel sacks this round have been really good. That first one, they got the force, they got the sniper, and Soapy and Exile didn't die on the sack. Exile ended up getting revolver down later, but they, you know, they made it out. Soapy ended up jumping back out. You know, they had that one where Marty went down and they just walked forward and held up point, and now they get the force. So everything going as they want it. Marty on full Uber. Exile starting to walk upright. We are Uber watching Nick see. soon. Yep, and there's Nixie getting that headshot onto Exile, that sniping that, that demo man, and Melon blanking the ground as well. This Uber gets forced onto a heavy. All of a sudden, this play is looking super bad for Shovel. They have no one alive on point. AGB's in the back, waiting to pick off Marty. He does get uh, herded backwards a bit, but Marty has to back out, keep his life, and Zuki goes down. That push was disastrous for Shovel on a full Uber ad, all because they weren't aware of Nixie watching the angle. Evil just shanked Walrus on grass. We'll go down for it, but yeah, just Exile's uh, feed tendency rearing its head at an ugly time, or rearing its ugly head at a bad time for Shovel right here. So now they're going to have to push into Casper's full ad. Evil nowhere to be found. The Uber will come out a little bit early, it feels like, but Melon got to do her best to stop it, and a good job she does, which eventually gets passed, but will have be forced to run into the entire team. Going to chill in house right now, will escape. So, no kills to be found on that at all, actually, other than Evil going in on the back line, but no Fallen means that everyone on 3600 can play wide here, and wide, that's exactly what they're going to do. Blank, dodging for his life, gets some good damage onto Adam, but not enough. Mad coming in from behind will find Marty, so no medic, no heals, everyone on 3600 is uh, going to be spotting in off of that. Another successful defense for them as they're about to go up 3-0. Yeah, Fallen keeps getting killed by AGB. AGB's on a 7k and he just revolvered Fallen twice in a row on two lives. Nixie's just able to stand tall, get pressure, he gets picks, Mar or we see Marty going down at bad times and all of a sudden they try to sack in, get some damage, it doesn't go well. There's evil with the 2k evil. here is going to keep them alive in the round, so that's good. They're going to be able to get this recapture here as spawns are along, but Casper is out to spawn with 100% Uber as 3600 going to hit overtime. One more push gets them 3-0 start. Yeah, if, this is a really important thing for Shovel to hold here, because if you go 2-1, you know, you have this momentum where you've consistently made it closer than you win, you can easily see, visualize yourself winning this. Fallen versus Nixie about here, to pop off. They're both peaking the same angle. Oh, they're both in pocket now. This could be a big SVS. He can get... He sees them, but they're going to pop Uber on right side aggressively, trying to get damage onto Marty. He does surf that sticky backwards, as now Uber crossing backwards onto their own side. Joey is left alone on point, and he gets shredded. Zukima almost taking him down, but Joey living and getting an arrow. That's big. Points capping up. They have to sack on top of it. Joey, Johnny all going down, though. They're off. The defense is doing a great job of sacking, Great and they're going to get tons Melon of damage. Keep Marty alive. Yeah, Melon with that reflect is going to keep Marty alive and get the kill onto Matt, and all of a sudden they held this. They have full Uber now. Melon might have just saved the round with that reflect right there if marty doesn't have this uber someone coming in casper on that quick fix great adaptation he's gonna be the first one in though but the uber gets popped off on point there's still a ton of cap time but no one on 3600 can even get close nixie on concrete doing what he can mad bombing into zukima will go down had to no other option and chinese military shovel will come back to take this round and bring us to a 2-1 Back-to-back -back double overtime rounds here. We come to play in these lower bracket finals. These teams want this sec guaranteed second place. Evil, phenomenal round that time. Top frag the server, 30 kill or 30 uh, points total. Amazing round from him. And now we have to go immediately into the fourth round. Would it be another double overtime? Yeah, or are we going to invert the pattern and it's going to be a perfect round at Chinese military. So Matt going in super high up top. Great reflect. reflex. He's going to go down pretty quickly. Bought a lot of space though. Exile and Mel both go down to the revolver. From AGB, Spamfest is going to be next. Marty is starting to kite away from this fight, knowing that it is lost. Mad's bomb making all the space that it needed to. There comes an oh, evil, evil on point. sad. Unable to find the kill, but AGB it picks up a third with the revolver. Evil got his knife melted and has a dead ringer, so he actually keeps his life. He's getting chased down. If he dies now, that'd be a bit off timing, but he does actually escape, so good for Evil. Meanwhile, neither medic died. Marty did a good job staying alive here, so they are going to have a chance to look forward and fall, and opening things up in the SBS win is going to help that. Yeah, definitely. Exile starting to walk up. Cannot be headshot this time before the Uber. Gonna come out first from 3600. Yeah. Marty doesn't actually have yet. They're in super deep. He didn't know where he's getting chased. Oh, he and he's chased. gonna go down at 96. Great aggression from 3600 that to capitalize on that misplay from Shovel. 
Yeah, that's the risk you run when you walk up to point with like 80-85% uber is if you let them uber aggressively onto you and you're not in position to deny it or get out, all of a sudden you lose everything and shovel. They didn't get the first mid cap either, so they're going to fall to a pretty big deficit. It felt like 3600 popped really early and that might have lured Marty into a false sense of security because he retreated onto grass and he was kind of safe, you know, on that little wall at the bottom of the stairs, but he... Ooh, really what a reflect from Johnny. Back into main, but Soapy and Fallen both gonna go down before this fight even begins. Zukima's gonna be next. They will trade out Adam. Casper goes down too. Blank getting in from somewhere. He's up on Cliff right now, uh, being a bit of a nuisance right there. So they will find Casper. Marty will live. So that's Uber Ad back in the favor of Shovel. Takes out Wish before going down as well. But frags continue to be traded right here. Mad popped up. No air shot from Soapy, and he will keep his life right here. No, gets sniped out by Fallen. So. Three down on 3600, Shovel should be all set to retake this point. That was a really impressive play by Shovel, and I'll tell you why. Normally when you're in this position and your medic has big uber disad, you do things like dry pressuring the point or you try to sack in or something like that. They all in. Every single player on their team was aggressive there, ready to go in and do damage. Spy coming in though gets killed to fall and trying to revolve down the medic. A lot of damage being done and they will lose a couple players and get pushed back off this point. They're trying to get the capture. They haven't actually capped it quite yet. Johnny fighting a scout will hit him with that flare gun and take him down. So Blank going down, AGB getting the revolver kill onto evil. Point still isn't capped for shovel, but they have the better spawns trying for it. AGB not going to get the stab, but he does give a distraction. And now Soapy the last one alive. They have not captured the point. Still a clean sheet round for 3600 up to this point. I saw everyone on Shovel doing the thing I might hate the most in Team Fortress 2, which is when you're trying to cap a point, and rather than just standing on the point, you're ADing, ADing on the border of it, and only getting like 40% cap time. They would have had that cap by then, and they're just, you know, needlessly putting themselves in danger with no reward. Mad and Spamfest are going to be the two picks to open up this fight, one on each team. Uber comes out, though. Exile's going to jump out to safety. Should escape it with his life. Melon's doing a great job of denying here. So only Sophie going to go down in that Uber. Nixie going to be found out on the back line too by Evil. Perfectly sitting in the stage for them to come back in here, but they just... He's dropping down, trying to get a stab onto Casper. He does Revolver a bit, but he goes down. AGB going to die, Wish dead as well. So right now we see Shovel walking onto the point. Nothing there on Mad's bomb, gets pushed back. Adam trying to walk in, get some space here. 4600, but cap goes over. First cap of the round for Military Shovel. They're not going to get queen clean slept at, le at least, but you know now they have to defend for three full minutes. They're going to have the clean sweep in return right here. As they do have the Uber ad to do it. So if they can chain together a couple of kills onto Casper, it's possible. But it's far easier than that. Uber comes out now. Mad going to be in on the back line here. Joy Lemons and Johnny both going down. Casper is fairly safe, though, out into that main spawn. Four dead in the post fight. So much overextension here. And here comes in AGV, not even attempting for the stab. Will not find anything with their revolver, but softens them up just a little bit. Blank finds Nixie, though. Blank made a great play there. Blank has uh, is on a 5k. Joey Lemons gets arrowed by Marty there, waiting for heals, and he gets taken down. So, all of a sudden, shovels over aggression turns into a good thing. They get those picks, and they get the key players out alive. They do manage to uh, lose this Uber ad, though. Casper will have here, so it's going to take a magic trick. They're going to have to pull something out of a hat. They want to hold this. Johnny will go down to a pipe. But Casper, nothing really looking to drop him. He will pop right here. Melon doing a good job denying. Wish gets blown back by some kind of explosive right there. Might have been a reflex pipe. But Blank is dead, as is Zukima. They have to, stop the they have to go on. No it's cap. It's just Exile stop and Sophie in here. Sophie's in there, but it's not enough. Cap goes over, and it is now, you know, took us a little bit longer, but it's now map point for 3600. Yeah, 3 to 1 for 3600. That round started out as a clean sweep for them, but we saw Shovel come back a little bit. It's not. It's a middling performance. We've seen them get clean swept and we've seen double overtime. So all of a sudden that round, they're a bit inconsistent. They still can bring it back, but they have to make no mistakes from here on out. Yeah, definitely. It's a bit of a slower mid this time. No fast bombs coming across. As I say, that Mad goes into an exile, gets sniped. One damage onto, or one rocket onto Marty. Make that two. Serves past the pack, but we'll get it in time. Mad and Fubars have gone down, so the kills are still in 3600's favor. They have so much presence here that it's going to be difficult to imagine they're not getting this mid. Spamfest alone on Concrete will go down, and 3600's putting, them play, putting themselves in a great position to win this map. Yeah, whenever we see 3600 take these mids, they're able to just collapse onto Shovel instantly, doesn't do a ton of AoE damage and burst them down, and no one's able to get any kills in return, so we do see another mid-fight win for them. Both meds stayed alive, so both meds are going to have the Uber coming up. Nixie vs. Fallen about to pop off an SVS. This is going to be a big see who gets the entry. Spies crossing as both meds come up fully. 
Yes, Fallen going for the cliff angle there. Not the most common. The Ubers will get popped out, though, thanks to the pressure Marty uses in return. It's better Uber on the side of Shovel right here, but Evil gets caught out. AGB gonna be the trade. No spies up right now. No mini for Fluwall. Exile's it's gonna, gonna run up by Wish. Big, but yeah, Exile overextended, guided back the wrong way. Kima and Adam traded out, but there goes in Mad. Gonna get blown back towards Cliff. Hits Marty up, though. Gonna go back in for round two and finds him underneath China. And that will be Marty going down. Mad goes down for himself, but more than worth it as 3600 continue their hold on this point with Uberf. The rare pyro med kill on the logs there from Johnny's Flare sniping that medic who's trying to back out. And yeah, Casper, 50% Uber now. Again, no capture so far in this round for Shovel. They're going to have to walk up. We'll have to see if they try to do a full commit again. This time their window's a lot smaller though because the Uber's on 75 for Casper. Yeah, we saw those sacks coming out really well in the round that they won, but, you know, they're going to need to come out again in a second round here. AGB gets his knife melted on Cliff, and there is Evil, though, getting caught out. Not going to live this time, but tons Hulk of damage terrible. onto the combo right there. Yeah, they're going to be forced out with only Adam going down to a headshot from Fallen. But with full Uber, they're likely going to try to use in here soon before Marty's able to equalize. Yeah, Johnny goes down to Fallen in the meantime, though, so that's going to be an advantage in this push coming forward. AGB is actually getting chased down by Blank right now, so no spy effectiveness coming in. But the bomb is in. The Uber trying to do some damage. Melon gets a reflect, and Exile goes down. They both will die. Now we see them kiting out to the back of Cliff. That's a pretty good uh, hold, all things considered, from Shovel, because they kept Marty alive and they only lost two yeah they are gonna have this uber ad now gonna wait for spawns to come back in they're completely happy with how that turned out and there is fallen finding nixie great pick to open this up johnny's gonna go down too finding that uh that high value pyro pick right there is fallen and shovel is flooding in here almost no contest from 3600 Yep, and Marty up on full Uber, Casper only on about 70, so they will have some time here to hold before any fight ends up popping off. No one needs to bleed here, we need to see Exile stay alive throughout this Uber. Every time Exile dies early, they get herded back, they can't do any damage. All 18 players are alive for this one, as Casper's only 15% off. Yeah, and they're just gonna milk the time, but Joey Lemon's going down right before an Uber is about the best pick you could pull up if, or, uh, you know, just conjure up if you're evil right there, because uh, Edging gonna try to be going down, but Melon goes down. No one to deny this. Fallen going down is the much bigger pick as there comes in Mad. Team is going to get stabbed out. This Uber going out for a shovel, but they do not have the numbers to back this up. Realizing that they're going to back away, not slowly, but quite quickly. Wanted to hold on to that a little bit longer given the state of the clock. They will be forced out right here. Yeah, that push was just won by pick classes there. We saw Nixie open it up with a 2k onto Melon and Fallen, and then Zukima gets stabbed midway through. Those three big classes go down, you can't hold any more. They just have to give up that Uber entirely. Now they're gonna try to repush in. 50 seconds on the clock for 3600. Shovel need a minute more than that to keep this. They're gonna try to run onto the point, do some damage. Johnny gets or Johnny is the first one killed, but Spamfest Blank gets shot in return. Nixie gets another SVS went onto Fallen, but not before Fallen can get the kill onto Joey. Both teams have a lot of picks, but it looks like right now 3600 are having the back off. They don't have enough players yeah didn't think that was going to go as well as it did for shovel with all of the uh, early deaths on their end but they were able to equalize it with the positioning they gained off of that so good play by them almost dead even on the 90 percent right yep whoever gets this first might have a chance to do something they're both going to come up same time exile walking across first pop and they're going to drop joey that's such a big stickies from exile going to get that kill now it's a pyro scout Uber, but they're not able to get anything melon with an air blast and all of a sudden no damage dealt onto shovel exile he does go too far forward though gets shredded by mad and adam now it's a bombing from mad gets two rockets onto marty gonna take him down nixie another svs win and zukima going down to the spy once again that's a good win but the counter push coming in they're trying to do anything get some damage they get casper and Nixie, both teams have less than three players alive. This and the point has been oh, kept up. Stick! Memphis coming up big here. She's staying alive. That mini does a ton to help deny that point, too. She is one uh, woman holding down the fort right there for Shovel. They, I may end up giving this cat back eventually as 3600 has the better spawns, but they are going to take a slight lead in time for a few seconds before they do, thanks to Spamfest's play right there. But they're going to flood right back in despite Fallen going down. Yeah, Zukima gets stabbed again, though. It's a third consecutive death to Spy that he's taken. And Melon gonna die as well. A ton of damage coming in for 3600. It's fine if Marty can get out alive. But on the back line, there we go. AGB 2k onto Marty and Exile. They're gonna go down. The combo is wiped for Shovel. And all of a sudden, things are in dire straits for them. They're gonna have to push this win and fight an Uber advantage. Yeah, it just... It, it feels like, you know, Fallen going down. He's really not been doing too well in the SVS right now. Both numbers are actually bottom scoring right now. In a stark contrast to the first half, 
but as we tick into overtime right there, just a little bit of cap time. Shovel's gonna need to pull something out of their asses here if they want to win this. Blank gets some. They gotta get on time, it. But Blank's yeah. up contesting, but the Reaver comes out up. right here, and Melon tries to flank around, but Adam's gonna be doing too much. There is Evil in on the back line, stalling this, but they're not on it, and it's gonna go over to 3600. So, your prediction was right. Yep, there we go. Four Genius. One for 3600. Yeah, it looked so close at so many points there for Shovel. They very clearly have what it takes to win rounds here. They double overtime to couple and end up winning only one of them. But it just felt like when it came down to consistency and who's able to actually make their pushes work, 3600 were just above. They were just better, the better team on product, which we would expect it's their map pick. But to see it in action like this just kind of proves it. Yeah, and if we have the logs coming up right here, and, you know, despite a lot of even uh you know numbers between the classes here exile actually outperforming joey by quite a decent amount of both damage and kills although far more deaths you know that that tendency of his to die at inopportune times once again you know kind of coming to the forefront here both snipers actually had the same amount of kills but because of how many svs kills nixie had it felt like he was doing a lot better even the scouts i mean yeah wish had a better kd but 27 and 11 in a 4-1 to blanks 23 and 13 Pretty even there as well, I would say. Yeah, it was just... Uh, the, when you look at this match, you have to kind of like... The, the individual performances don't matter so much as they have in the past. Like the first round, we saw the snipers end up popping off. But in, in the second half, there was more just which team had the better pushes to make things work. It seemed like all the time we saw... Uh, Shovel try to walk up into the pocket, they'd get take a lot of damage, they'd lose a player in, in pre-Uber, then their post would not have any positioning to do anything good. And they just ended up bleeding out slowly over time. It took them a couple, both rounds uh, after they won their round, just they started out a pretty big time deficit because their mids didn't go well, their first Ubers didn't go well, and it just took a second for them to get ramped up, but we'll be moving on to Swiftwater here. Yeah, but before we do that, I think we're going to throw it to a quick ad real quick so we can take a break, get some water, and uh, prepare ourselves for Swiftwater because if it's anything like product, this is going to be a good one. Yep, Swiftwater long map, so we'll see you guys after the break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, gamers and gamettes. This RGL.GG Invite Highlander Lower Bracket Finals between WJQ 308 Chinese Military Shovel and 3600. You I, love saying that name, don't you? I do. I do. I love it a lot. If, you've, if, if, you, if you don't know what it's a reference to, since this may be the last time we see them, just Google their or YouTube their team name and, and click, on the, click on the video because it's, it's truly inspirational, a seminal piece of media. Well, there we go, something for the viewers to do while we wait in this pregame, but we're going to talk a bit about this. We're going to Swiftwater here, the only stopwatch map in this BO3, and stopwatch is typically the better uh, option for military shovel throughout the season. This is their pick, so going to need to bring this one back if they want to keep this match alive. Yeah, definitely. As I, I think it should be said, though, that 
you know, if, if you're concerned about how that first map turned out, I wouldn't be. Shovel almost got spawn camped for four rounds in a row on Lakeside two weeks ago and still managed to pull it back to a, you know, a two, two ones on payload. So I, I don't think that's going to have too much of a bearing on them. They, they went into this knowing that product probably wasn't going to be their, their map. If they were able to take it, you know, you'll never turn that down. But I think for them, this is kind of where the match really begins. And we're going to need to see just a little bit of some tighter play from them here. I think Swiftwater will give them that opportunity. You know, it, it's a lot harder to feed, to just put it simply. You know, just all, especially if, uh, if they're defending, just because there's not as many angles that snipers have. There's not as many ways to get ran at. But if we see a lot of the untimely deaths out of players like Soapy, Exile, and even Evil getting caught out in maybe some positions where you would have liked them to stay alive, then Swiftwater is a map that, while a lot of people think of it as slow, can turn fast in a hurry. Yeah, and I want to ask a question real quick to make sure, but so whoever picked this map, right, the other team gets to choose side? Or does the team who it is their map gets to choose side? I've heard a couple of differing answers. I want to say that the last time I checked the RGL rules, all it said was that home team gets to pick the side, which would imply that the upper seed gets map pick in all three halves. Right, and so. I'm not sure who's picking what side here, although I will say that I think it's interesting that in both their match in week one of playoffs and against Yee, Shovel has always elected to go, or at least has been better on starting on defense. Okay, or no, yeah. excuse me, excuse me, never mind, I take that back. No, they've been starting on offense. They push, they set, they try That's to set fast thought. time. So the reason why I brought that up is because I saw in well, on the load-in, when both teams were kind of like, you know, going from red to blue, just loading into the server, Shovel was stacking blue the, with all nine players, whereas Thirsty Hunter was kind of side to side, you know, the, some of them were on either one, you know, showing they want to start different sides. Shovel was all on blue, so they very clearly want to start on offense here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in their in their match against 3600 on Vigil, they started offense, they pushed a five-minute time, one. Next half, 3600 pushed a five-minute time, one. Half after that, they pushed a, uh, Shovel pushed a five-minute time and one. Then went to upward and started on offense as well, only losing that final half where their defense just collapsed. Then on to Yee, they also started on offense both, half, both times, I'm pretty sure, and set pretty fast times, I want to say. At least five minutes in both Vigils. And then, don't remember what Swift Order was, I want to say it was like 6 or 7. But they clearly feel at home, starting on offense, which is always, you know, I, I never try to start on offense, personally, but if it's been working for them, they want to stick with it. Yeah, th this is a debate that's been raging for as long as Comp TF2 in, uh, on Payload has been a thing, where which side is better to start? I, uh, me and Alto are both uh, advocates for starting on defense, because if you uh, get to start on defense, you get to kind of hold first, let them set the pace for you, and then you know what you have to do on offense to make a win. But better teams in the past have tried to do the offense start, where you're set, you're able to set your own pace, do what you think you need to do, and then just try to match what you're able to do on defense afterwards. So with Shovel starting on offense here, they are convinced that they need to set the pace here. If they set the pace, they do what they've practiced doing, they do what they know they can, they'll be able to get a time that'll let them win this round. All right, Zag, about 30 seconds until we get in. What's your bread here? I think the evidence from past weeks, as well as what we've seen from Shovel throughout the season, shows I'm going to go with Shovel 2-1. to one. I think they're confident, they know what they want on this map, and they'll be able to take this one. I still think 3600 are phenomenal uh, as a team overall. They're, they're going to get around in my eyes, but I think Shovel's taking us to three. All right, well, in, 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 the, uh, in the service of not having us both echo the same prediction, I'm going to go 2-0 Shovel here. Gonna, I'm gonna go full homer for my boys because I want that second place medal. So, <laughs> yeah, completely man. unbiased casting here from RGL, as you would expect. As someone had switched teams right at the uh, right at the end there, but Joey Lemons puts Johnny trolled in the chat. Flame Johnny. Yeah, there's there's been some talks about. Uh, apparently, he had a vision that he would blue screen during this half. So. Figsy might be waiting in the wings, which, uh... What? <laughs> Did he predict it? Did he get a fortune, he had, a fortune teller? I think, I think Adam said he had a premonition in chat. Exact words, so... We'll have to keep an eye out for this, that this one. This did happen back in week one, by the way, where Johnny had started off the match, and, like, two and a half rounds into Lakeside, just vanished from the server, and they got Figsy in and played the rest with her, so... Thing that is not unfamiliar 
to the players of 3600 but hopefully that doesn't happen we get a nice clean 9v9 between these two teams as timer is ticking down shovel on offense 3600 on defense we need to see how shovel sets the pace here the onus is on them to win this map if they don't their season is over yeah we are at that time of the year right now where you know they are two halves away from going home but they are two halves away from you know evening out the uh evening out the pace here or the the score so gonna see it come out Sophie goes for the bomb in which gonna get knocked down exile lands into river will go down to wish there for the first frag of the half adam though getting sniped out no heavy in the spam, spam fest and wrangle jumps. jump <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, a mini wrangle she, jump, by the way. She had her moon shoes on for that. That was wild. Yeah, she went flying and fallen. Sophie will die to that sentry, she, that sentry gun in the tunnel. Fallen gets stabbed. But, you know, overall, things pretty normal. We see Shovel times three on the cart, pushing it forward to that first capture. No one crucial has lost their life. Matt is on... Uh, gonna get stabbed here i want to point out, he's on black box battalions so we very clearly stuck around to try and build damage on the cart there but evil finding that timely pick is gonna make sure that matt isn't able to get that charged 45 44 seconds for the first cap always nice to see when it's below 50 because as we've seen on swift order those five seconds can be season deciding in <laughs> every the case every of time where the pit evan's scrambling for the pit at the end but yeah we will see right now offense lining up the man the Uber. Yeah, they're ubering the man soldier in that's such a good strategy and they're gonna get that force onto the defensive medicare adam first casualty gets left alone in the upper they're gonna lose wish as well but exile and zukima go down the wrangler from fluoros does big work there as there's no uh, enforcer or sapper to stop that gun so push gets held off for now no medics lost their lives but that's kind of what the first push is meant to do just trade ubers and they're likely gonna try and go tunnel here exactly what they're gonna do it's a strat taken from the shovel discord they even mentioned the man treads and i wasn't thinking about until i saw soapy leading that and the little buckles on his shiny shoes as the spam fest will get taken out though but exile peaking tunnel right now no regard for the oh, sniper gonna early. be hit back a bit but yeah a very early drop everyone on the floor zuki snuck into upper yeah, they had space, and Sophie went in with him. They helped him kill Adam, but we're going to see the retake squad come in and take him down. Meanwhile, Tunnel is pushing in. Fallen and Melon will go down to some frontline spam on the backline. Matt and Joey have lost their lives. Evil with a 2k. That's a big one for Evil, and he keeps his life too. 13 HP, so all of a sudden now, both meds have Uber, but there's a small man add for Shovel. They're going to try to walk forward through Tunnel with it while the demo man's spawning. Uh, uh, it looks like Sophie and Zuki and Spam Fest are the upper squad. Everyone else going through Tunnel. Going to probably use onto Exile here in a second right there blank coming in on it as well but they get shredded in upper all three of them go down but they force out the uber that is huge marty has not used yet this will be a full ad coming back in and johnny nicks here dead now Exile gonna walk forward with this Uber, tries to get damage, and he's gonna take down Casper with some clean stickies. Joey gets popped up, and one more bottle will take him down. Meanwhile, Melon has got that capture for her team. Gonna get that one, will lose her life, but that is A-OK. -okay. Second gets capped up in less than 2.30. That's a very good pace right now for Shovel, and they get closing picks too. Floros can't get his gun out in time, gets chased down by Blank. Adam so goes down as well. In the upper, like, bridge between Red Room and, uh, Apartments, or, uh, yeah, Apartments finds Adam as well, backing out. This could be a third roll as well. I was not expecting that push to work after all three of them got molten upper, but it forced Casper. That was all they needed. Dude, so he's on the boilers! Soapy popped that banner. No, it's the defense that has the banner right now. We see Matt finally builds that up, and they're going to repush, but they can't get on cart in time. That 2x from Blank is going to get that cart captured, and the third snowball is through. Meanwhile, Matt gets dropped by Evil, so no soldier. He can't build up his banner. Johnny and AGB go down afterwards, and third is capped. Fourth is now coming up. They are already out on ramp, but bomb in from Soapy. He's going to do a lot of damage and get that gun killed. Gets the gun killed, and he gets behind, continuing to just harass them on the catwalk up there as shovel has already taken control of the far side of yard something that you know is always like a precursor to getting this cap big bomb coming in out of mad gonna go down to exile perfectly placed sticky right there dookie walking forward gonna force out that uber marty gonna use in return though both combos have flanked each other right here whirlpool theory and highlander folks this is a breaking development casper is gonna get forced out through the big pack on the side is he gonna escape in the vent no goes for the jumps but exile and blank are on his tail he goes down and I'm feeling real good about that 2-0 right now, Zag. There were two sides to that Uber. There was the front line that ran forward and World pulled them, as you said. The scout doing a ton of damage. On the cart, though, the, the 3600 Uber was dedicated to the cart, and Melon and Fallen stayed alive on that cart the entire time, juking the Uber. And because of that, the cart never stopped moving. They get that fourth capture in four minutes, and now they're in upper lobby trying to get some damage, and Fallen winning that SVS gives his team a lead and gets the pick onto Joey. This is going picture. You could not... The cart's going in. Better, yeah. 
The card is super close right there. It's almost on the little grate right there. Zuki's sitting tall in the window. Oh, Fallen's getting the arrow tanked. It's only, it's only Adam alive. Anyone that gets on this will auto cap it. And Adam will go down. That's going to be it. Are we going to see sub 430? It's like sub 5, I think. Exile taunted. So that's all the. Yeah, 444. 444. The, the Wendy's, the Wendy's 444. We, we got it here. You hear that? Shout out to Freelander. You hear that? <laughs> we popped for that at the same time. Okay. Is that the fastest invite Swiftwater time we've seen this season? That was dominating. This Dolphin says the fastest Swiftwater time in playoffs history. I'm I'm tempted to in playoffs. Probably, RGL playoffs probably. Maybe sure. maybe like a, a hood versus a hood type versus a four seed might have done a little bit more, but between two two otherwise evenly matching, yeah, that this has to be a top five. Yeah, that was crazy from Shovel. Everything they did went absolutely perfectly. No mistakes from anyone. Every theory we saw them try out. Died. Maybe not. Yeah, he probably kept his life the entire time now. I'm thinking about it. But yeah, every strategy we saw them pull out. The man treads Uber through tunnel. Or through apartments, rather. Then the split push from tunnel and upward to get space and force that Uber. It was all perfect. They did so many good things there. And... 300 didn't have an answer for any of them, and now they're going to be put out on offense here trying to match a sub five minute time that's incredibly difficult to do, and especially not on their map pick. We're going to have to see them pull out something crazy. Otherwise, 1 0 lead for Shovel is you know, looking good here. Not only did Marty not die, he outfragged both soldiers and his pyro. Going 2 0 <laughs> because <laughs> so Sophie, Sophie, despite doing 400 DPM, was not able to find a kill somehow. That's funny as hell. I don't think there's ever 400 DPM no kills. Yeah, yeah, that is well, crazy. 397, but I want to give a shout out to the Owen 030 and 30 Nico Jim's Asheville logs. If anyone remembers those, that's uh, good old Nico went o zero kills, 30 assists, 30 deaths, 250 DPM, and like a 32 on Asheville. Just could not find the kill, but yeah, it's just. Okay, first point getting capped up here. We saw Shovel take a very early back out of tunnel, not wanting to risk anything, which that's understandable. You just want to avoid disaster here and you'll be fine. That's a 44 second on the dot first capture, so I'm pretty sure that mirrors exactly the time that Shovel had. But meanwhile, Uber exchange already happening. They know they need to go fast. Melon stuffing this one up top. Scout Uber solo, not going to get anything. They're going to try and jump out main, which I like the idea, but they weren't fast enough. Casper gets wiped on his exit. So be there to take him down. They're trying to get some spam and do some damage. Scout's still in the back line. They will get blank, but got I'm gonna take out Wish in the end, and very successful defense there as Casper did lose his life. I like the idea of backing out main when the sentry yeah, yeah. gun's dead. <laughs> you have to go faster though, they didn't go fast enough to actually get their medic out. Yeah, but I mean with that push right there, that that puts 3600 on the clock. They now have no more chances remaining. If they, yeah, if they single fail push, one more push, they're off time. They need to have perfect snowballs after that. But yeah, we see both teams dropping onto lower. Advantage is had for Marty, and they're going to do some shredding in tunnel. Adam, Joey, Nixie all going down to the defense here. That's three key classes you're not able to push without. They're going to have to back up and try to build this Uber. Marty is 80% to Casper's 35. Yeah, I mean, it's still mathematically possible, but as long as Shovel's in the server, I almost want to call it here. Yeah, and I think Soapy's coming up on a banner soon, which is going to be massive for the defense. Yeah, and I mean, I, I mean, I since I don't want to call this dead time, but Casper's still got, you know, a little bit of weight towards his Uber. There's only two and a half minutes, and they haven't gotten any opening picks. Actually, they're going to try to dry it, so he's going to get sniped out They popped the banner that out and might push up the tunnel. Opening they need. Yeah, they're just going to try to maybe walk a bit here, but no, they're going to force them back. They know that every second they can milk here is basically just putting 3,600 further into the grave for this round. Okay, they traded Ubers, but it's a much worse Uber for Shovel. They need to try and keep their lives here. They're going to kite up into the apartments, try to defend Cart for what it's worth, since they can't back out through main. They get the kill into Nixie and Casper Exile. Fantastic fight. He's on a 5k. Meanwhile, they collapse onto the car. Going to clean it up. Melon with a 3k of her own. There's 5 for Soapy. Exile will lose his life, but he's the only casualty in that post. And a great defense there from 36, or from Military Shovel, rather. They're going to hold this one. And at this point, it's pretty much impossible for 3600. This is one of the cleanest I've seen a team look on any map right now. And, you know, again, outside of, like, you know, really big skill discrepancies, 3600, or a shovel, excuse me, feels so comfortable right now. There's going to be a lot of pressure. Another up banner? Right there, another banner out of Soapy. Flew Lars and Joey are already dead. Look Soapy just bombing up to put a cloaking device past Adam and take out Casper. Put it in uh, the books. 
Yeah, that, even though they will end up losing second here, they get everyone they want out alive. They're going to be ready to defend on third here. We do see AGB is in. He's calling that they don't have anything set up quite yet, but second just gets captured. 120 on the clock. It's already probably impossible if they just exist. I'm pretty sure it's impossible regardless. I think Swift is at least two and a half minutes, and they're barely even halfway. Yeah, so there's a lot to talk about here. We can kind of go ahead and, you know, casual cast the end of this one, because this round's over. Shovel already won this. Oh, watch Adam drop down. He's gonna find Zuki. Oh, that's, <laughs> like an, that e that's an ego win right there, is what we call that. But yeah, Sophie's just wreaking havoc on them. I'm interested to see how Shovel's defense turns out next half when they don't have the like. So that that repush they did into second, right, where they kited back into upper and found a bunch of frags after it looked like they might have you know lost it after the uh, yeah that's not necessarily Uber a thing trade. you do if you're I don't ahead. know if the, I don't know if, if they do that yeah, next setting half. The time. I'll be very interested to see that yeah who was gonna be popped out for the stats here they're just pushing into second in Casper's, that situation uh, it was the perfect play no matter what though because they, they actually would be very hard from where they were to try and get out through main because they were getting chased down by a scout and it's really hard to escape an ubered scout in that long of an area so they kite to a choke point all of a sudden you can kind of block him limit what he can do either way that was a great decision by shovel everything they've done on swiftwater has been a great decision they really have made no mistakes at all in this map yeah they, it feels like they can do no wrong right now and i mean i think a lot of that is just that's that's one of the upsides of starting on offense right if you can come out you know, with the, the man treads Uber, some well-researched <laughs> technology, if you will. The the three-man Soapy whips three people or two people into upper with him, and they go for the sack, and then they just you just win a 6v9 Uber because that's how that works, apparently. Like, you know, that, that gives them that half, and they blitz them, and 3600 was clearly off their game there. They were unable to recover. Shovel was unrelenting in their pressure, but that's only one half, right? And now they start on defense, so 3600 has the chance to do the same thing back to them. They've had the ability to, you know, kind of test out their defense a little bit, but the good thing about holding a team on second is that you don't reveal your third, fourth, and fifth defenses. And that is true. They still have a whole half of the map to go for their defense on Shovel. I want to go ahead and talk about real quick about what well, we have the logs on the screen, the, the Mantra Zoop and the theory behind it for the players who may not know. The Mantreads are a unique weapon in Team Fortress 2 because when the soldier wears them, he takes incredibly reduced knockback to anything that would knock him around. This includes sentry gun fire and pyro air blasts. So normally, in that apartment super, we see the pyro take the front position on defense and try to stuff it in the choke. The soldier can't get air blasted, so he just keeps walking through doing damage and forcing flashes. It's a very interesting strat that we haven't actually seen become mainstream at all, or even top teams try to use it in matches, but seeing that is very interesting. I'm glad that they've done it, and we'll have to see what the answer is in the end, because every strat does have its counter, but this one doesn't have any research behind it. Yeah, that'll be interesting, because it feels like something that at first glance might just be almost impossible to counter. You know, maybe maybe you, you have your pyro try to just blow the medic back and then just stall the soldier long enough. You know, like I body block just, the rocks I think you fist, have to, or... I think you have to keep your heavy on the door early, uber your heavy the second they uber, and just have them stand fat man in the door. Which is the best part about that strap, because you're not trying to necessarily win it. It's it's it, You're using it because it's guaranteed to get the force. Mm -hmm. What you don't want, what I, I think, you know, if you've been watching cast, if you've been following the scene, I think a lot of teams have started to transition to the main push right through tunnel just because going in through upper is too much of a crapshoot and a good team's not going to let you really get too much in there even if you can get the ubered soldier through right he's only got four rockets if they uber in exchange there's no guarantee you're going to win the post but teams are now i think thinking that the thing they really fear is getting dropped down on with uber so they can go up exchange ubers and then take the dry fight on ground they're feeling a lot more comfortable on that and it's something that we saw shovel you know do exactly that right they go in got the force I think they killed Adam, but he was probably up by the time they really started walking out of tunnel, but then they just went in on it. And they didn't get it right away, but by pushing combo through main, not them not having Uber, you can then send people up top as a flank, you know, split their attention. And it, just, it creates a lot of chaos that is really hard for the defending team to manage without giving up somewhere, right? Either you let them walk out of tunnel, you let someone sneak in the card, or you let them walk in upper, anywhere can potentially, you know, cause your hold to fail. Yeah, and while we have the logs on the screen, I want to point out Fallen absolutely popping off on offensive sniper there when his team was rolling for the most part. He did get a lot of chance on defense second, but 14 and 4 KD, absolutely amazing. Also, Exile, 470 DPM over that short amount of time, and we see Joey at two, 290. So it's a pretty big discrepancy there. Granted, when one team gets rolled, you're going to get that. Wish has 10 kills, 10 deaths, which is interesting. He's doing his job about cleaning up damage, but there's just less there for 3600. And you, you, you don't want to talk too much about the logs 
uh, when like looking at how this match went because it really is just a preparation difference. Yeah, yeah. I, although I do want to just point out because I think it's entertaining. Sophie did twenty three hundred damage in the first half, first round, no kills. Did four hundred more damage in the second round, ten kills. <laughs> just just As... goes to show you, man. Sometimes the the cards don't fall your way. <laughs> Dolphin has uh, come in and told us that the if you were to 1x Swiftwater, so like a single engineer on cart from start to finish, is one is 506. <laughs> Which means to get a sub 5 minute time, you have to keep it rolling the entire way through while having more than 1x on it. Right, or at the very least, the few times it stops is you counteracted make up for by having times 3 consistently. Yeah. yeah, Which goes to show you how insane a sub a time 5 minute that is. time is, yeah. I don't it basically know the... means the cart never stops moving, other yeah. than when it absolutely has to. Yeah, I don't know what the 3x time on that is. Maybe our uh, marine mammal turned statistician can can dig up that one. But it's I, I think Swift Water is on the longer side of total track distances. So it shouldn't be... Uh, it, it, it's probably around two and a half minutes, I want to say. Is Alto just what fired, it would be? Dolphin got Dolphin fired back at Alto with the just divide five oh six. No, it's divide not. It's diminishing returns. <laughs> yeah, while they argue about that one, we're just waiting for the last player in the server well, to join no, back. I, I will not repeat sli <laughs> repeat just false information on air. Yeah, we are waiting. One more player just getting their game reset, making sure no one has any problems. But yeah, one zero on Swiftwater for Shovel, and this is what they need. Remember, they're down one zero overall. We did see thirty six hundred take the first map viaduct four zero for those of you who are just tuning in. So, or it was four to one, excuse me. But either way, it was a very good showing from thirty six hundred. Now, an equally good showing, if not a better one, out of Shovel so far. Yeah, I, I would say that. That's uh, again, maybe I'm biased here, but I think that <laughs> might have been a little bit better. That was a yeah, beautiful that's better. half of Swiftwater. You could. I, I we should get this on the on the channel. This is like the perfect push. Cause even even when their second push didn't go perfectly the first time, right? They were able to get that force out and then win the win the fight anyway. And that's just being able to, you know like it's super easy to main call when things are going well, right? When your sniper's popping off, when your spy is finding every single pick and they're never getting an Uber off, anyone can main call. Just walk forward, they'll all die because, you know, they just will. When your push goes wrong on Swiftwater second, it can be really daunting to figure out exactly where you want to go. And as you said, it's a preparation difference. They knew exactly what their strategy was, knew exactly what they needed to do, and they did it. And now it's just about just doing it again. And then the real struggle is you go to Asheville, which is a cop map. Yeah, that, that's a much more uphill battle than Swiftwater would be for Shovel, you know, assuming they're able to close this one, this one out. But yeah, we are into the second half here of Swift. This time, Shovel starting on that defense here, so they're just going to have a chance to set the pace. Maybe they can get a time they'll be happy with, see if they can adjust their defense a bit to meet its needs. But yeah, it's all though. Right now, we see uh, 3600, they're actually on the back foot here. Yeah, and I mean, I think uh, I, when, when we were casting Shovel versus Yee last week, I was saying that I was hoping Yee would look a little bit better on Swift because that was the, their map. Maybe not to this extent, but this is the type of transformation you're looking for. AGB going to be caught out by the crit stickies, just uh. A little bit of harassment. He says unusual in the chat because normally the domain doesn't pop them on gate anymore. That's like an old thing they used to do, but it hasn't been a thing in a while. Normally you keep them and Ooh. make the alpha clear them, but Spamfest yeah. yoinks her gun with I want to say six. Fast bomb from it. Matt. I like that. He doesn't get anything from it, but I like the attempt. He'll get a spawn up in time. Cart's getting times five, so no time lost on that one. Yeah, I feel like ever since, I want to say it was American, got like a med force by just WM wanting through tunnel on Pyro. It, it, like, that awakened in TF2 players' brains the idea that you can just kind of like, try to cheese them as they're backing out of tunnel. Now it happens way more often than it used to, which, big fan of that, so. But yeah, we are moving into, you know, the, the more proper part of this map. Second is set up. I did see <laughs> the Nixie opening, it, Nixie. I love it! Oh, they're, gonna, they're, they're trying for the force without Nuber, that's interesting. It doesn't go well at all. They lose everyone and don't get any damage done. Exile takes some damage, actually, but no deaths. AGB, late on the decloak, not going to find anything. That's interesting. So their answer to the Mantred's push is to don't even Uber. Just see if you can get that force by sacking six players through it. It doesn't work. The sniper gets killed instantly. Nixie, we know he likes to go with the quick scopes, but that doesn't work. And they will end up resetting here. I guess it's not that big of a time commitment. You lose, like, what, 30 seconds doing that? And they will have other players up. This is likely going to be a lot more of a standard push. 
Yeah, Casper will use on the earlier side here. Melon not? Oh, she's just going to go for, like, the jump denial right there. Marty still hasn't used yet. He's committing to try to not use this if he doesn't have to right oh, now. Oh, but don't, carefully, you don't lose too many players. Exile going to go down instantly, and now they're going to get forced by Johnny in the back line, so that's not the best thing for them. <laughs> they have to retake power space. Jack, yeah, yeah Melon going to power jack him down, but that is the uber trade. And one of the downsides about actually milking it this long is now you're at a pretty sizable uber diss ad. They're 25% down as the rotation has already come through. Yeah, Adam re-pushing back into upper right now. Melon's going to do her best to deny that install as Zuki gets uh, topped off on that dispenser. She drills Arts and Joey Lemons almost takes out Adam, but the arrow tank coming through gonna be too much. Wish coming in from the bottom of Spiral finds Marty, and Shovel is not showing any of the strength they had before. 212 through second. That milk from Marty, as you said, gonna end up costing them pretty hard. I hate that decision to milk that long, and I hate the decision even more for the players to stay in that did. Spam fest, Melon dying super late it means there's no engineer to set up, there's no pyro to deny spam. They are gonna get some damage onto the cart, they get Adam and Wish off it, but in the back line, Fallen got stabbed because there was no one near him. So down that sniper now for the defense. Ooh. Yeah, Johnny goes down. Surfed by Exile die. into heaven. And then Mad tried to jump out, hit his head on the awning, and cut pipe. So Exile went down there. That could have actually been really bad. But it looks like they are going to get some semblance of a third hold up. But Casper having full add, though, means this may just be a measure to get that Uber out of him. And then back up to fourth. I still don't see Spamfest Sentry Gun anywhere. They haven't started building yet. Yeah, Spamfest actually building in the it's choke. Meanwhile, back. I like yeah, this. Fallen getting that SVS win onto Nixie means his team can move forward. Doman getting floated in the window. Joey Lemons gets taken out to one before Uber gets popped out. Zuki will lose his life for it, but the Uber did get stalled quite a bit. They are losing players and losing position. Remember, they don't have Uber to contest anymore, so they're going to have to back into their spawn gates, and third should get capped up here unless they can get people out. Melon going to die to that crit stick from... Blue Walrus taking her down, and that is third captured. Marty up on 90%. They're still behind the curve. Ooh, wish caught out Exile on fourth, though. I was going to say that was going well for Shovel, you know. When you lose second that hard, if you can just force their Uber on third and then back them and get a fourth, well, that might be good. But Exile oh, going down, they have to go back just flood in. Yeah. They might actually try to go back up and contest Fallen? on the shutter. Joey just jumped onto the awning right in front of Fallen's face and killed two. Blank and Fallen going down there means no scout, no sniper. Oh, Those are two so big space-denying classes. And yeah, Soapy gonna die means that they're trying to Uber out just two people. It's just Exile and and uh, Marty out here. They do get Melon in at the tail end here. Nixie does die, and now Melon's trying to go on cart. With the help of Evil, they are getting damage, and they are getting people off the cart. They're able to walk out right now. Fallen gets stabbed, but it's fine. They have control of ramp. But here comes in Adam. They're gonna need to take him down fast. He already finds there Melon, but Zuki on the head glitch will do enough. Casper has just come up on Uber, though. Mad's does not over have the top, a lot of though. players around him, but yeah, Mad in up top. Blank will take him out, but Exile and Zukima are both dead. Marty has retreated back to spawn, but that likely will be fourth going over, and these teams play stopwatch hard and fast, is what I've learned. After three five-minute vigil times two weeks ago, and whatever's going on now, they likely will not be able to beat Shovel's time here. But they might they're get pretty close. close. They're only 25 seconds behind Shovel's pace, actually, which is very impressive considering they're on their own offense here on not their map pick. Spy coming in. Casper not looking and evil. Gonna get that pick. Big pick there for the spy of Shovel. And now they have a chance to stabilize here. We gotta watch out for the sack. Nixie's in on the flank trying to do some damage. They are gonna get the clear out onto the cart. Joey, Adam, Mad all dropping. Pyro walking out. Arch trying to find it. Marty gets taken very low but keeps his life. And the defense has stabilized for Shovel. Yeah, nearly a full wipe there. Casper going down is such a big pick from Evil, and if they end up, you know, getting a few extra minutes off of it, this it's probably going to be because of that play alone. And just, you know, again, stopping the momentum anywhere is really important. We saw how good Shovel was at pushing with it, so them being able to get any kind of defense up is a great thing for them. Soapy's getting decloaked on. If he's getting stabbed here, no banner, and AGB will find that pick. 13 second spawner for Soapy, not going to be able to build banner at all. Yeah, Joey Lemon's gonna go down right away though, as is Witch. Great snake out dead. of exile. And yeah, Evil finds Casper again. Marty is still alive, but there are so many dead right, on the they're side. They're losing of everyone. Yeah, right now Marty walking out with his they're sniper scout soldier. Uh, they're trying to milk as long oh, as they no, can. It's just a mini. Still. So if we can kill the mini, it's fine. They did get some trade kills, so they're not under too much pressure. Cart moves up though. Cart is now past the two barrel stacks, and it's very close to the edge of that pit. A couple more dry pushes from 3600 is all they need to take it in. Oh. AGB not finding the stab, but they did keep the Uber right now, Shovel. Marty tried to get an arrow onto Melon, but it's sticking out of the... clip into the top of the concrete there, and she ended up going down. Spying on Fallen, and Fallen goes down. Meanwhile, Uber Ooh, gets popped up onto here. the cart. So yeah. aggro. 
Wish is gonna go down as the sentry gun, but the rest of the players are escaping through the top of that ramp, and all of a sudden, Zukima is trapped on low ground, gets taken down by the sniper. Meanwhile, Mag gets sawed by Marty, and turn no turns Casper gets sawed by Exile. There's tons so of people on the cart, and it does get collapsed on in time. Casper, 80% off that saw. Marty goes down in the back, though. AGB revolvers him. Now AGB is alone in the back. They're gonna try and chase down to get Casper, and they do. Blank gonna take down that blue medic, and all of a sudden, neither team has any heals, but that cart is so close to going in. Yeah, spam fest going down too means that once that gun goes down, that is it. Melon forced to drop down, but the gun's hiding on the barrels right there. It's gonna be difficult to spam out until they're actually on card. The banner from Soapy! Zuki walking forward, gonna hit Joey super low, will not find the kill though. Oh, Marty walks into the sightline of Adam and gets taken down. They're on the heels even though they have the banner. It's players going down, this should be it. The card is getting collapsed on. One more player and that's it. We see Soapy go down and that is the time capped up. 7.07 is the time. Normally, that's a very good swift water time. In this match, will it be enough? Yeah, it is going to be on 3600 here to really just make sure it doesn't happen again, right? So is is the, the question remains, is 3600, or Shovel, excuse me, just that good at Swift? Or are they just good at pushing? Are both teams just momentum? awful at defense? You know, if they can if they can deny that initial momentum, right? Maybe they maybe they end up losing a fight on second, but get set up on third. You know, are we going to see the same thing from Shovel, or are they maybe going to stall out when they don't have all of the cards always going in their favor? Because 3600 definitely showed an inability to get set back up in that uh, first half, but Shovel was kind of showing that until Evil got that med pick on Casper outside of last. So if if uh, Shovel doesn't get that you know huge swing of momentum they get in the beginning. Totally doable for 3600 here. Yeah, considering that the uh, they're only 25 seconds behind the pace set by Shovel in the first half, and they would have been very close to that time if not for some key plays out of Evil. That's a pretty good. I say pretty good. It was. It started out super well for 3600, and it looked really bad for Shovel. But it, by stabilizing and getting themselves a bit of extra time, they've given themselves a pretty solid chance here. And Evil only has 10 points on the board right now. He's second lowest in the server, but it shows that on Spy, the quality of the pick matters, not the quantity. With those two med picks, he got back to back. So now gates have dropped on this round. Remember, 707 is the time for Shovel to beat to get that 2-0. Zag talking about quality over quantity on spy picks. Like, you need a Zagron mauled in the chat right now. I will get 21 Fallen Lord kills and you can't stop me. That was Andrew, not Fallen. Yeah, but Fallen's more recent, that's funny. <laughs> anyway, uh... I love, first... I love Fallen. <laughs> I love Fallen, too. First, uh, going down about as you would expect. AGB hiding, maybe gonna go for a cart pick? Would be interesting, but I don't think that's gonna be the play here. Just wanting to call when they're going out, what they're gonna do. Card's a little bit slower here than it is that first half. You know, maybe five to ten seconds slower. Zuki gets off a little, a little earlier. Blank and spam fest. Will they man the Zuber here? Is the soldier's whipping them. He has him on, yeah. He's got him on. Or, yeah, they are. Yeah, and he's going to take it through. This time Pyro leading, Soldier going in, doing damage, and they get the Uber Force just like they want. They get the kill on Nixie too, as Soapy keeps going through. Adam goes down as well. Blue Walrus dying to the heavy dropout from Zukima, and he cleans up Johnny from Kali too. This push has gone amazingly. They get the kill onto Casper at the end there. Exile with a 2k leaving, and then Wish dies to Evil's Revolver. That was super clean. You never, ever see one-shot pushes through apartments. This is the power of the man treads. Daffodil is, has a smile on his face wherever he is right now because that was a thing of beauty and I don't I, I was concerned 3600 might not have had enough time to adapt to the man treads uber if they even know that's what was going on Soapy is on fourth by the way just being a nuisance from behind which normally I'm not a huge fan of but he's gonna keep drawing people back being a little bit of a nuisance if you're gonna get a class back there soldier is one of the ones to do it on but you know it's only a slight ad for Marty right now they are not finding tons of crazy picks like they did last time. Zuki is up on the boilers, though. Yeah, he's getting good work, and he's got he's Marty out there with Marty him. Marty tanking him up. Marty <laughs> falls down. Yeah, Zuki's still alive up on the boilers. King of the hill has a new meaning right here. But Matt, coming in from second, finds Marty. That will put a, uh, a halt on the, the shovel train right here, as they will lose that advantage that they had built up after killing Casper on second. Still, they have five minutes for fourth and last. They're in a good spot. Yeah, not well, the worst exile out of the sack. Ooh, They're gonna sack it. Oh, and it's Soapy! Soapy! Soapy finds the rockets and gets the trade onto Casper, so now all of a sudden Uber Advantage is back in Shovel's court. They're gonna try and push up here a bit, so you can lose his life with the cart. Gets it as far as he can, but Wait. yeah, that medic pick is massive. Soapy putting Ice Stomped in chat. Was he still in the air trip? Did he land the Goomba? He got to kill the rocket, so it might have been Goomba damage plus a rocket. 
That's normally the way you do it, at least. That was yeah, the yeah. Gaff did it to me all the time back in the day. But Gun's going to get pulled out right there. Uber at back Again, in Sophie Marty's in. favor. Trying to get some damage. He is a big distraction. Gets the kill on the gun. And now Nixie goes down to some pipes. There's Matt getting stabbed by Evil on that flank rock area. And he gonna keep his life and go back in. Now it's up to the demo pyro and scout out 3600 to stall this push. But there's Wish getting sniped down by Fallen on the side. Not able to defend anymore. Heavy's out here on the flank. Evil trying to pick off Joey. One of overshot two. Doesn't get the third. Gets taken down. But here is Blank coming in to clean it up. Adam goes down. Soldier bombing over the top. Joey goes down at 2k from Blank. And all of a sudden, Cart's getting pushed up. They're gonna get this capture. I have seen more combo players buy the full health kit <laughs> the flag in players. two rounds of this match than I have in probably five years of playing. That's These fights are going long and wild, but Shovel might beat their previous time. Maybe. They are on pace to do it since they one-shot second like that. Uh, the only thing is I think their fourth was slightly slower, if not the same time. Either way, yeah, they We've are on pace to do it. got about 20 seconds to get it in here. 30. Yeah, Exile right now trying to stun the gun. The gun is a level 1 up on top, but he will go down to that heavy above him. Melon going to sniped as well, and Zuki going to get the card as fast as far as he can. That's fine. Blank actually gets some cleanup, so that's pretty nice. They are going to have to force Uber. Thanks to Soapy over the top, got some damage, I'm pretty sure is what I saw. And with that Uber gone, all of a sudden, last line of defense for 3600 is just their bodies. Yeah, and Marty just was kiting back all the way out to spawn, taking no chances. They have <laughs> Uber. The cart is on the edge of Oblivion right now. I want to say Blank got two kills with one scattergun shot in that sack there, which is always cool when you see it. Yep, they're going right up the ramp straight into Adam. He's not going to be lost to this world. Adam doing what he can to stuff them. XS is going to get separate and he gets sniped. Great shot out of Nixie. Cart Over the top, Soapy's doing so tons of damage. Right there. Soapy getting dropped down on it. Everyone dropping. Soapy trying to do the damage that he can. Only Marty and uh, is alive right here. I think that's actually, you know, not a spawner. So the first wave held off for uh, for 3600. You know, they got to go back and uh, buy upgrades before <laughs> the 3600 MVM metaphor makes this any worse. Yeah, cart so close to that edge, a sneeze will put it over as we so often see on Swiftwater. It's close to moving back there, and it looks like Evil's not going for the tap, so he's gonna opt to keep his life a bit longer. But yeah, that defense went better than expected for 3600, and now they have Uber to Marty's 50%, so all of a sudden they're looking good to hold at least another 45 seconds here. Little D cloaks on it there, though. There we'll go, go down yeah. with Blank to sack for that. Marty only at 60 right now, so they should be pretty comfortable sacking for that. Mad, though, gonna find Fallen. It's a little bit aggressive, but probably gets caught out by Soapy here. Yeah, get some damage onto him, but will go down. Soapy in deep now, and I'm not sure they know he's on this medium pack. <laughs> well, Nixie knows. Yeah, as he takes him out. So, uh, flank denied, but only a minute 20 left now. Both teams have Uber. The cart is still close. Not as close he, as no it, one's on it No one's on it! No one's on it! Evil! Oh, it's so close. They have to pop Uber and drop down. Meanwhile, Exile gets the counter onto him. Melon gets sniped, but that is okay. Spy in the back line takes out Fallen. Going for more. Spamfest gonna turn around and catch him. Meanwhile, the soldier over the top doing damage, and there it is. Mad finds the kill onto Marty, but on the top, they're losing tons of players. Casper, Mad gonna go down as well as Wish. The level 3 gun is still up, though, which means the defense still stands. The gun Here and the heavy. Here comes Evil. No one's on it! Oh, Nixie saved Nixie him! Nixie didn't even know he was the cloak yet! Yeah, that just was such time. great foresight from Nixie. If he didn't do that, the round's over. 45 seconds, Soapy over the top, so close! Can't quite get it! It's even closer than before. Is Johnny gonna go down? Means no pyro to defend this. They have to keep sacking over. Neither med will have Uber by the time the round ends, so it's all about going over and over again. This level 3 gun could be the difference maker. AGB takes out Zuki. That's a big pick to get that heavy down. That is a lot of health that Evil 3600 would have to go okay. in through. Wait, there Guess you go! It! Wish! Wish! Wish was jumping, doing the scout double hop, Pyong Pyong, fucking jumping around. He just leaves the <laughs> cart. Wish left the cart there. Oh man, you know it's bad when Zach's breaking out the Japanese manga sound effects. I can't. I, that's the first thing I think. Like, he's just jumping out. I'm a scout. I'm gonna jump around. But like, you just let evil cap it. Oh man, that was. You know, I didn't want to jinx it because I, I have a personal stake in this game, but in their match against Froggy Land in the regular season, 3600 had to hold last for three minutes and in the most, you know, tense, like down to the wire fight, they managed to hold it off in that third half to pull out that win. And it looked like they had three minutes and five seconds to defend last from when fourth got capped and it looked like they were about to do it again. But Wish, unfortunately, just, just couldn't hold back the urge. <laughs> To double jump. He just had to. He had to. He's the scout. He goes fast. He's from Boston. Bonk.
So oh. logs on your screen right now. That it was a crazy half. So fast these Swiftwater pushes. And in the end, by the way, 3600 actually outfragged Shovel by two. Out damaged them too by 13 uh yeah, 1300 damage. But in the end, the 2-0 goes in favor of Shovel, and with that, we're tied up at one to one in this series. Going to a third map for second place. Everything is on the line here. I was hoping we'd get to a third map like last time when we do it here. Interesting, though, that we've now seen both teams basically stomp a match. You know, 4-1 yeah, on they win product. The map picks. Although, you could, you could argue it would have been a little... It might have been a little closer than the score indicated on product. But on Swift, that was, that was one of the best performances on Swift I feel I've ever seen. Yeah. But, you know, it comes down to Asheville now, right? These two teams played on Asheville all the way back in Week 2. And, you know, you think about it, right? Week 2 of the regular season, this is lower bracket finals. They're both Week 2's one away from the start. One and, away from the end. And yeah. we're one away from the end. So we're, we're bookending the seasons here on Asheville. It was a 4-2 when they played in the regular season in favor of 3,600. Shovel looked all out of sorts, but both teams, I believe both teams have made roster changes. I know Shovel has. 3600, I think, had Biffle on Soldier instead of Mad, or it might have been Mad on Spy AGB, was gone. I'm not sure exactly what the rosters were, but yeah. we well, come back down to it. And yeah. this while we wait for one. Asheville to get started here, we will be throwing things over to a very quick break. So don't go anywhere. You won't want to miss the dramatic conclusion of these lower bracket finals. Stay tuned. Welcome back, gamers and gamettes, to the RGL.GG Invite Highlander Lower Bracket Finals, as we are now on to Map 3. After a pretty dominant performance on product by 3600, taking that 4-1, Chinese Military Shovel, WJQ308 Chinese Military Shovel, sorry, I had to say the full have name. Have to fit in, yep. Stormed all the way back in a beautiful half of Swiftwater to pull that 2-0, and we are now on to the final map in Asheville. These two teams played on in the regular seasons, bookending at least one team's season here, as whoever is the first, takes this first to four will be moving on to the grand finals and secure second place. The loser will see their season end. Yep, four rounds is all that stands in the way of these 18 players and a better medal and a bigger chunk of prize money and the prestige that comes with it and the chance at first place. A lot on the line here, Asheville. It's been a while since they've played each other, like you mentioned, week two. There's a lot to unpack, but we don't have very much time. The teams are already going to be readying up in about a minute here. So we can talk really quickly about who we're looking to pop off. I'm going to be looking for Soapy and Blank to have a really big impact here. When I watched last week, I saw Shovel take a half off of Hood on Asheville 3-1 in pregame. And it wasn't necessarily that Shovel fixed all of their mistakes, but they were able to use Asheville with their flank players to drag everyone else up into their own pace. You know, if Exile's feeding, they're making sure everyone else in the enemy team is feeding even harder. So I'm going to be watching for those two players to really go big here and watch for Zuki to take a lot of presence and space on the point. Yeah, definitely going to be looking to take all that space. We know Zukima loves to lead by example on heavy. We'll see if he can lead his team to another grand finals appearance here as we're almost ready to start up. Wish has hit the ready up. The man who ended last last map by <laughs> jumping off the cart. He's ready to go. Real Everyone's quick, ready to go and I we're getting started. Zag. Ooh, I'm going to say 4-2, 3600. I think their cough is good. I'm going 4-3 for Shovel. There we go. 
means Let's we're guaranteed see. for a 4-0 here one way or another. Yeah, yeah, someone's Caster's curse. Best. Joey gonna be a little bit faster than Exile here on this first mid. Exile getting up hit hitting or getting hit up pretty low right here. But Wish and Nixie gonna go down. The sniper getting taken up by the heavy. Adam going down as well. This mid fight is turning out well right now. The soldier Mad is still alive right here. Not sure where, not in any position to bomb, so Marty should be safe, but great mid for Shovel to open this off. Yeah, bombing over the top from Mad trying to do some damage. He does get some damage onto Marty. Gonna have to jump back, and he's gonna get the kill onto Fallen as well. Zuki going down to some spam before Joey gets taken down by Evil on the back end. So now both teams missing a couple of crucial players. Mid has not actually been capped up yet. So mid fight V2, everyone's favorite thing coming out. Mini gets taken down as now Soapy bombing in over the top, getting some damage. But Adam has taken a ton of space and taking down Spam Fest. Melon as well dying to Fuel, which means that Exile and Marty are here alone. But they're gonna pop. They don't want to give up this mid going forward. Soapy gonna get in on it as well as Blank get the flashes and they get some damage and the counter force out and no one loses their lives in that unfortunately the uber is better 43600 gonna look to take control of the point adam's so far aggro here here comes zuki in from shadow one right? catch him on the wall he goes down we are still in this mid fight the hl pug special the never ending asheville mid fight in this wrangled midi from blue Wars. standing tall will go down but 30 uh, shovel's gonna need to reset all this cap time that'll give plenty of time for 3600 to maybe come back and recontest. Fallen taking Wish's head off in that shutter immediately, and now the rest of the combo jumping off of bats, but Mad yeah. Raimi gets floated, and there goes Floors as well. Drop stab from Evil. This should be the mid capture times three on it. Only one Casper player went dead. down in the back lane there. I think Soapy took him out. Yeah, it would have had to have been Soapy, but either way, that's going to be a big Uber advantage for the side of Shovel. Now Marty up on 95 to Casper's 20, so all of a sudden, first capture, first Uber ad. Shovel looking strong here. Looks like they could have had another minute off the clock. And Melon's almost dead. A little bit more cleanly off the mid fight. Melon, yeah, waiting on that arrow. We'll get the beam a little bit. Great, just in time to reflect as well. That is going to go down, but Zuki and Blank are dead on the front end. Even with this ad, we're seeing 3600 get super aggressive here. And this is that happened back in the actual match. They were not afraid to walk forward with this ad. When it worked out, they were able to get a lot of free time off the point. When it didn't, Casper was finding himself getting crunched in bad positions. But Evil's Evil. gonna find Adam, no heavy. Casper's alone in Shudder, but no scout in on this Uber means that there's gonna be some good denial from Johnny. Casper should live through this. And here comes an AGB on the back end of this fight. Marty and there's dipping and dodging. Marty. Not, not enough to go down. Exile probably gonna be hit low if not go down as well. Yep, there is the body shot to take him out, and the cap will come back into 3600, but Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Exactly. Okay. Can't hit the shots. There were so many things that happened there that were potentially fight deciding. Nixie opened things up and the SPS went on to Fallen. Melon took tons of damage and had to drop off the roof and barely got there in time to air blast the rocket. After the Uber actually happened, we saw, saw Evil had a chance to make a round winning play by revolving the medic down, but he couldn't hit his shots. At the end there, we saw Blank run in and try to get that medic pick on his own. He couldn't hit his shots either. So now point gets flipped back. It's 30 second advantage, or excuse me, a minute advantage for Shovel, but they need to build this Uber. There might be more kills already this round than in the entirety of that first product round. Great sack though, gonna find Casper in Shudder. Marty all the way back out at spawn with Spamfest. That is exactly what they wanted out of that. They will have fairly big ad right there. So Marty's been having a little bit of uneven building back in spawn. Falling with the pan out, not gonna be able to find Wish. Gets taken out in the back of his own lobby. Bit of a stagger there, but with the short spawns, shouldn't be too damaging. Mad gonna take out the level three dispenser, I think, on bats. That was three rockets, should have been level three. So. We are on an ad for Shovel here, just gotta see how they use it. Marty's building has been a bit slow. It's actually gonna be 50% after Casper when he popped pretty recently, so they're gonna have a chance to kite this one out. Uber gets popped out right now for Shovel, jumping forward, get Wish killed in the shutter, trying to find anything they can, but Arts, Johnny denying them, he loses his life for it, they'll take that any day of the week. Recapture likely gonna come in with Casper 65%. Yep, F Exile though, gonna get sniped out there. His spawn's gonna extend the if they wanna cap angle, this. But Evil finds Casper! That is the ultimate equalizer right there. They must be waiting for Exile's spawn right here before mm -hmm. capping it up. He will come up. Bomb in, no, not in position. Oh, but Marty smartly runs forward to avoid that. They're not, Blank's not gonna get the respawn wave. Spamfest goes down. There's a ton of frags on both sides. I hear headshots ringing out everywhere. Nixie, yeah, Nixie. Uh, Wish gets really close right there to Zuki, but unable to uh, land the kill is Tsukima. As we see the repush coming back in here and Marty's gonna have to kite to Shudder. Yeah, Shovel have no positioning, they have to back off this. This comes off of Melon not being in position to deny that bomb off the of Fallen. Fallen dies to the Soldier, all of a sudden Nixie rolls off some headshots, and the point belongs to 3600 again. So now, even though they're at full Uber dis- or 50% dis ad, they have control. Shovel now trying to drop off of Bats as, did we really go into map 3 without a pause and now we're having one? It looks like we did. So, 
right now. I wonder if it, okay, Casper. Oh well, no, it doesn't actually matter because this isn't where it is. I was gonna. I think there's the the Uber bug happening right now. I might. No, I'm not sure if that got updated yet. But uh, Casper's percent is correct. Yeah, no, I'm just saying that as it is, he might be healing in live right now because this isn't where they actually paused. Yeah, he's probably but healing. As as it is, as it is, Shovel has pretty big ad right now, forty percent or so. They're about to use in. Evil is waiting. To de he's actually decloaking as we speak in lobby, so he's going to come around into Shutter. Watch for him to try to find Casper on the back out there. If Casper goes at bats, probably not going to see that though. But Shovel really needs to get the point back with this. Yeah, Evil is a big threat here. If Evil's able to find Casper again for a second consecutive push for Shovel, all of a sudden this point is going to be capped up and looking really good. Keep in mind, on your screens, time might be ticking. It is for us in the Spectre Decline, at least. That's because of a pause bug. The time is not actually decreasing. I'm pretty sure Shovel still had a slight lead when this pause started. I believe they did, or it was close to even. I'd say it's within... Oh, we're unpausing soon, so we'll find out in a sec, but it would have been within plus or minus 10 seconds, I'm pretty sure. As we unpause, time to see how this Uber turns even. out. Evil gets found on his decloak. That is big. You're not going to be able to find that medic pick that we were talking about. All of a sudden, now Shovel trying to walk forward. Exile's alone. He takes a lot of damage, but Wish gets quick stuff, but Fallen before Fallen gets taken down by the Soldier. So even though the 3600 out of the point, they haven't Marty? taken any damage for it. Yeah, but Marty hasn't used, and Casper's going to come up and get. What was that? just didn't have the players forward they weren't ready for that push to happen they lost some on the back line here we're gonna see the bump forward exile left out to dry gets headshot by nixie trying to get back to beam uber 4300 was forced but they're gonna keep control of this point and now time is gonna take in their favor that was a really really poor play it looked like they could have just used it on exile there could have gotten the force and played the post but marty just held up on boxes exile walked wide over to the ramp side of point and just that that push completely falls apart and now they find themselves you know, looking down, you know, a pretty in unfavorable clock. Yeah, dire situations as Nixie finds another kill on an 8k with that one onto Fallen Lord. And now they're trying to walk off bats, but Nixie's standing tall, watching. They're walking into a shredder right now as Spamfest, Blank and Zuki gonna go down. Johnny's re or revolver, excuse me, Flare Gun doing tons of work there as Exile gonna drop as well. The bats drop did not work in the slightest for Shovel, and all of a sudden they're gonna lose this round. They don't have anyone there to stop point. Yeah, that was just. I felt like they had it off of the mid fight. You know, things got a little bit more complicated, but yeah, just that that push right that we saw right after the pause really just I think flipped the momentum into 3600's favor. That was baffling. Shovel need to shut down Nixie. He's sitting here on 20 points to Fallen's 10, and you know Ash was one of the sniper maps where the sniper can do a lot of work, but you have to help him. He can't do it all alone. So with Nixie popping off this much, there's tons for Shovel to think about. A second mid gonna get started here. Downman trading pretty even damage as they're gonna lose Joey early. But Fallen goes down as well. So big class is down on both sides. Adam will go down though, but Nixie evens it out onto Marty. AGB gonna go down tons of frags everywhere. There's a slight number. There's a the numbers that for Shovel right now. And it looks like they will take this despite losing Shelby's their bleeding. medic. Casper has made it out though. So while they win the mid, they will be at Uber Disad. Yeah, that, that's the cat win mid but lose your medic. Unfortunate for Shovel because normally that means you get flipped into a time dissad with that Uber. At best, we're gonna see Shovel go for a force play once Casper walks out here. Yeah, no one is anywhere near bats though, so it's gonna take a while for anything to happen, if at all. Casper coming up onto Uber right now. Zuki playing close on the boxes. Might look to uh, try to drop someone, and there is Fallen taking out Joey. Huge pick right there. Zuki just being a bit of a nuisance, giving himself up to allow that to uh, Uber to eat him up, but Adam goes down as well. Major combo classes down for 3,600. More kills in their favor, but higher quality ones for Shovel. Soapy one so rocket left. Low. He misses! Soapy misses the final rocket to Casper. Casper hits a super good dodge, jumping that rocket, not taking any splash. Gonna keep his life. And in the back lines, we see Marty goes down. Wish takes down the medic for Shovel. And even though Shovel have the point, things aren't looking good. They're gonna end up losing this one and being at a full uber disad. Yeah, somehow they've managed to go over two in the med trade while going two for oh and holding point. But peeking shutter Zuki will get taken out. Fallen going for something. Adam uh, gives him the, the tipsy toes and Fallen runs away. Un inco unconfident. Inconfident? Unconfident in his ability to hit the shot. And then AGB though finds him as the sack comes in. 
Casper deep in shut. Soapy's in the behind. He gets an air blast off onto Bats. He's trying to get some damage. He gets to kill the Flu Walrus. That's a bit of an unlucky air blast from Johnny there, but it doesn't cause too much damage, and they will end up keeping other key players alive. Unfortunately for Flu Walrus mostly, as he's on a big respawn timer. But all nine players now up for both teams in just a second here. Marty 70% to Casper's 100 as time very close to even. Feels like we were seeing this back in week two as well, where Shovel come out strong on the mids, they'll do a couple things right, and then once something goes wrong, it's so difficult for them to just reset. You know, we, we saw them able to pull it off on, on Swiftwater on last, and that was probably allowed them to take that 2-0 with as much time, you know, as, as they did, but they're going to have to do something right now, and actually they're already down around. Times even, Ubers will get popped out, but Johnny gets dropped. Frag advantage for Shovel right now. Nuki, though, might get caught out by Wish, and he will go down. Sophie Blank as well. Presence in the favor of Shovel. Frag's in the favor of 3600. And Wish is doing so much work here. Will go down eventually. Eventually. <laughs> but he's, there is AGB finding Fallen. He's bought enough team for time for his team to come back in. We see kills on the front lines from Joey and AGB getting a ton of work done. Doing the recapture, gonna get that one down. They don't get the kill onto Marty, but they're gonna get the point back. And they didn't lose it either, actually. So Shovel now on a 30-second disad. They don't have positioning. They're gonna try to walk back out here while neither Met has Uber, but Exile's very low. He needs some heals somehow. Adam gets stabbed. That's a big pick. Evil not able to double up, but will keep his life for now. Zuki gonna go down in trade to headshot, so neither team has a heavy. Nixie dying to blank on the back line, though means no sniper for 3600 they're gonna have to give this one up ubers are slightly better oh, oh AGB finds marty just as about to say they're even marty goes down they're gonna cap that and put marty on the long spawn they need the time as i think what the call must have been for as a, as little as that may be that's gonna be one of the shortest cap times i've ever seen what they need is a force now they're full uber this side with a minute on the clock for 3600 to hold this and go up 2-0 right now we're going to see them try to walk out bat side see if they can get anything done people are getting buffed up but things are looking dire they need this force yeah something needs to come through right now i've been waiting for that you know flank of shovel to start popping off and they've just been getting shut down by 3600 not too much to do it will find the mini at least so not Evil's too much to uh, deny found. that yeah, tried to go into something close, but Exile gets sniped out early. Force comes out from Sophie. That's what they need, but tons of players are dying. Marty's only at 40, and they're down more than a minute on the clock right now. AGB in deep. Fallen gonna find uh, Johnny, but gonna get taken out instead. Everyone abandoned him there. He didn't back out with the team. 15 seconds left. Marty might not have Uber in time for this. Watch Adam. He's forward on the enemy ramp. He's going to catch a spy, but Evil, the only death so far, he's going to get caught That's out in return. That's a great play. Yeah, it's a good play, but it doesn't get exactly what he wants. Meanwhile, Matt actually doubles up. Him being that distraction means Matt can get a couple kills. Now they have to run through Shutter, but they can't get out in time. Stickies and the Wrangled Mini do the job, and that flank was very good in the end. And that's a 2 0 start, 4300 on Asheville. Yeah, not the way Shovel uh, drafted it out, to be sure. As, again, it's just they come out on these mids and they look really solid. They're finding picks. And then once one one domino goes wrong, they all start to stack back. And, and I think we're starting to see why 3600 won in the regular season and why they've kind of they kind of prioritized uh, getting those cop maps when they could get them. Uh, I'm thinking back to that uh, last play at the end there, and what actually happened was we saw uh, Shovel take a different path. Normally, you end up going through Bats and Shutter because it's faster, but they assumed that uh, 3600 have control of the Shutter, you know, Stickies. You want to clear them to get out. They actually sent the majority of their players onto that ramp area, but with Adam and Mad there causing so much trouble and doing so much damage, all of a sudden, their players had to walk back around through Lobby and they didn't have time, so that play actually was in the right place at the right time, coincidentally, to deny that push. Yeah, and I feel like we've been seeing Marty slow building a little bit this game too, where he had Uber there. I felt like he had backed out when they got that force. He was at 40% with like 30 seconds left. Yeah, like, I pointed I could out be wrong once on that, where I saw yeah, Marty I was building like really slow in comparison to Casper. Uh, like one time where they actually needed that Uber faster to get the pick, but... Yeah, that may or may not be drastically affecting them. Either way, there's a lot of things for Shovel to look at moving forward into the half as we have logs on your screen. Yeah, and we can see just looking at this, Nixie versus Fallen, really big diff in the snipers, really big diff in the demos too. Damage is, you know, decently close for two rounds, but you look at the KDs, Joey had double exiles kills with almost half his deaths, and staying alive is just so important because it means that there's no advantages, you know, to kind of go in off of. Fool Wars 12 and 6 on Engineer as well. You know, sub 200 DPM, so some of those might be just kind of picked up kills, but staying alive, getting presence in those minis, 
have been a royal pain and it just feels like everyone on 3600 is just kind of slightly outperforming their counterpart some little bit more than slightly and when you put all that together you get a 2-0 exactly one thing i want to point out from these logs is that we're having a storyline continue from product nixie is four and O in the svs it's not as many svs's as you have on product just because of the map but four and O has not lost an svs to fallen they've had the sniper advantage on 3600 for most of the time you can say that's for a number of reasons fallen has been getting jumped on a lot been getting killed by spy a lot but when, when the fact of the matter is you have your sniper up on Koth and he's making you tons of space. So there's 600 are going to have this one in their back pocket unless Shovel can change this, unless they can protect Fallen. Yeah, I mean, it's not like they're, you know, we, we've, we saw them dominate on Swiftwater. We saw them pull a bunch of double overtimes on product. And, you know, they're not being outmatched by, you know, this. It, it's not like when, you know, a lot of teams play Hood, right? where it feels like they're just being outmatched. It feels like they're really just kind of playing themselves. They might have won that first round if that Uber right when we saw the pause didn't go so terribly, terribly wrong. You know, if they're able to just keep players alive, Marty got stabbed once at 80% in an even Uber when they had the point, that's just going to throw it right back. It feels like Marty's dying at really inopportune times. Some of them his fault, some of them not. He's building a bit on the slower side. You know, if he's got Uber at the end of that last round, maybe things change a little bit. And you know, I, I called the flank of Shovel to show up here, and they haven't really done that. Yeah, blank on 9 and 12. 300 DPM, that's not bad. And Soapy Meister himself has a lot of DPM. He has, you know, 380. But it feels like when they need to come out with a big play, they're just not able to get it. The best they've done is forces, and their forces have been good. But the problem is, when you're always trying to force the medic and you never have an Uber out of your own, it doesn't really matter if you're forcing them. They're just going to hold the point on you while you build. Right, yeah, I mean, that round started off well for them when they won the mid, but they lost their med to do it. Then the fight right after that, they lose their med again, and they kind of hold on to it, but, you know, if you, have to, if you can't keep your med up in these fights when you're winning them, then you're just not going to have a long, a long future on a cough map. Yeah, and those med deaths right now are 5 to Marty, 2 for Casper. Over two rounds, you know, three death difference is pretty significant. That's pretty much an entire round that he's alive. Yeah, definitely feels like that since I think Casper's died a couple died a couple times in the first round. I don't know if he even died in the second one. I think I can pull Evil it up. Let's might see. have gotten him once. I'm checking that real quick. Evil got him once in the first round. And in the second round, let's see, Casper. Uh, I must have missed him because, yeah, he didn't die in the, the Casper, second round. Casper died to Soapy and Evil in the first round. Yeah, he didn't die round. in the second round. Yeah, so just unable to find that pressure. And with the season on the line here, they've already found themselves in an 0-2 hole. Shovels, again, just going to need to change something up. Probably what they're discussing right now. Yeah, definitely want to take the time. Remember, your season's on the line here. So take as much time as you're allowed to try and fix your issues. Get things back rolling. See what you can do in this next half. As, yeah, on the line their entire season. Something else, too, that I think uh, I'm thankful for is that we're in halfway through map three and we're only at 1130. Yeah, that's what Double Koth will do. Yeah, well, it wasn't Double, double. It wasn't fast even... Swift that, water. Yeah, that was like the, that was the fastest Swiftwater half I think we've ever seen in playoffs. Yeah, that even Swift if that water went by faster fastest? than most Vigils do. That, by, that probably went by faster than the Koth did, honestly. Three double overtime rounds? That had to have been. Yeah, so we're on pace to finish pretty quickly, especially if 3600 can keep this momentum going. They're in the driver's seat here. They're the ones looking to take that second place spot guaranteed and have another crack at Hood in the finals. Right, which we would be bringing to you next week on Monday. You know, Hood is coming in from the upper bracket, so they will have the, uh, the bracket reset possibility if they lose. But, you know, we, we saw... 3600 take two rounds off of them on Lakeside. That's the most anyone's gotten off Hood this season. So, going to be a daunting proposition. But, you know, both teams are certainly uh, going through their fair share of uh, anime training arcs in this, in this match right here to power up for their yeah. match, pushing each other to the limit. And to those of you who would say, like, oh, whoever wins this still has no chance against Hood, I've, I have reports from a lot of the Shovel players, even, that they do well in scrims against Hood frequently. And also included, like he's told me that like they, they're winning some scrims in pre-matches last week. They're doing it a lot. And whether or not they're able to do it on match day is a separate question. But both these teams are definitely very high skilled. And to see one go out here is sad. But, you know, someone has to take that second place. Someone has to challenge for the crown.
Yeah, and I mean, again, just this time taken here is probably just Shovel, you know, wanting to say, okay, here's our plan. As we said, we were able, we've been able to get a get rounds, get halves off of Hood on this map. We had to have been doing something right there. We got to go back, channel that, and just fix our issues. You know, Fallen needs to get protected better. They need to do a better job of protecting Marty. You know, Mad's kind of going in and just doing too much. Exiles straying away from Marty too much. Just tons of you know. Not maybe not game losing issues individually, but they're all just stacking up. And when you have teams of this level, you know, small things can really kind of tip the favor of a man. Yeah, we're looking to get those issues fixed for Shovel. Things are looking not good for them, but they'll have one last chance. As we are down to about 30 seconds left before our final ready up of these lower bracket finals. Aldo, do you see anything that could change? What what needs to change here for things to flip? I need to see Exile. I, I just need to see a, pretty much everyone on Shovel tighten it up. Need to see less weird off timing deaths. Need to see more coordination with Evil and Ca uh, see Casper on Soldier, Evil and Sophie. <laughs> you know, need to see just Exile playing tighter, playing closer to Beam, not dying as often. Fallen needs to get protected and needs to get some some dubs back in the SVS because Nixie's really been. You know, if there's one player right now that really deserves it more than anyone else, it is Nixie. I think he's been doing his part to keep Fallen down and. Give everything 30, give 3600 everything they need to, to win tonight. Yep, and the ready up has come through. We're into this mid third round of Asheville. Two more required for 3600. As Exile takes up some bad stickies, he actually needs to get some heals, gets an arrow, but Mad's over the top doing some damage. Gonna take down Exile with that bomb. Mad didn't lose life for it, but Zuki goes down as well. Falling getting stabbed by AG beaming. The end of this mid for Shovel. They're running back out of ramp, trying to keep players alive. They have their medic at least, but this Watch mid is decisive. And Casper gets air blasted out of the angle. Yeah, Fallen did exactly as I, you know, commanded him to and immediately opened that up with a counter snipe onto Nixie, but it just wasn't enough. So AGB getting in there, finding a, uh, a pick onto Fallen to counter that out. Here he goes in again, gonna find Marty! Oh, oh that was that was a cheeky D cloak on the pipe. Take advantage of the fact that people don't always look at that and... Uh, that is, that is That's disaster for Shovel, right? Because now they have yeah. to sack in, try to get this, but Marty's already in good position, or Casper rather is in good position to back out. All these players are going to get shredded on the front line. Four kills for Joey Lemons on that one. Evil going in. Oh, Casper turns around just in time. Casper has done such a great job at keeping his life in the crucial moments. There's been soldiers, there's been spies hounding him. Every time he's been able to surf, he's been able to turn. Casper's had a flawless round game. Something that I think is really interesting is that I doubt anyone else remembers this, but back in their week two matchup, Shovel had a really pivotal moment in a fight where Zukima kited Shudder to avoid a sack wave, and 3600 just said, all right, he's in Shudder. Marty's dead Everyone again. Bought. Yep, Marty dies again, and, you know, the dominoes are starting to fall right now. They will find a kill onto Nixie, but AGB finds Zukima, and the pick classes for 3600 keep going off. But to yeah. that previous point, right, when Shovel kited Zukima, who was on Medic back then, into Shudder to avoid a sack, Everyone on 3600 just bought it and said, okay, if you re-push from Shutter, you're going to lose this. Casper has been playing in Shovel the entire time and no such response from Shovel. Just crazy how we see these, you know, mirrors come up. Yeah, unfortunately for 3600 there, the force did come out. Sophie got a bomb onto Casper, surfed it into ramp, but couldn't get away from the wall. Last rocket forced him. And off of that, we're going to see Shovel with their first Uber ad of the half. They're down almost two minutes in time as Exile going to drop off. He's alone right now, though. Needs to get some support, but not going to get anything as the Sticky's going to take Exile down early. They need to continue this drive push as neither Meg can have Uber, but Marty's very hurt. Needs to back up and get some heals. He's 20 HP. They're going to have to back out of mid altogether. They do have picks onto Adam and Wish, though. Yeah, they got those picks, but they're going to be respawn. Actually, no, they're still on a decent bit of a respawn. They are going to get back on point here, but we've seen 3600 be relentless on this map and just not give the up drop. the point. Oh, he's going to get the sniper instead. Marty goes down, though. Yeah, Joey Marty's dead. him again, and Marty is just unable to stay alive right now, and it is costing Shovel dearly. Yeah, Casper got the kill on Evil there, importantly, because after that, Casper got two saws to kill Evil. So that 50% that he got off of his force means he's going to have here. And, you know, that death for Marty means Shovel, again, on the back foot. They get their first capture, but Marty at what gets cost? Spawn camped? He's at 60 health and 2% over. Uh, it might have been AGB. Be Cali, camp, probably, yeah. yeah. Be a little bit more likely. He's back on ramp, but Uber comes out! Oh, what a great sticky! Joey Lemons arcing that sticky over the aluminum sheeting there. Gonna get the 2k onto Exile and Marty once again. Capture gonna come through. Casper does die though. Evil in the backline with that L'Etranger getting that medic kill. But unfortunately, they're still gonna lose this point. 
Just right now, delaying is 3600 going to get their spawners back up as it's nearly a full wipe for Shovel. Yeah, they are four down. I mean, they get the full wipe, but they managed to get some kills back. Casper going down is big. They found some other kills, but, you know, just not going to be able to get in there in time. AGB going for the same decloak as last time. They sniffed him out this time. <laughs> Doesn't work me once, shame on me, but they're not going to let it happen again. That being said, Adam is super far forward here on the boxes. The, the, uh, the shutter push gets called. Lots of spam going into it. All those buffs getting knocked off from the oh, uh, evil. damage right there. Evil going to get caught out as well, but Fallen losing the SVS. Nixie back on you know, his his uh, his sniper grind right there. Blank going down as well, and the bleeding just continues. Exile gets caught out going through shutter, and these shutter pushes are not working. 36 or Shovel, excuse me, refuses to adapt. Yeah, 214 left on their clock as the cap gonna get uh, finished right there for shovel or 3600. 3-0 right now for 3600. One more round is all that stands between them and a minimum second place finish and a spot in the grand finals. Shovel, they need something. They need anything. They challenge the scene or channel the C9 and hit the reverse sweep as uh, they are coming in here. Sticky's out from both demos. Exile winning the health fight early, but now everyone's flooding out right here. Nixie's gonna go down. Fallen wins the SBS, the body shot. Mad dead as well. Zuki will go down as the trade pick. AGB in shutter on Fallen, gonna get panned once. And but gets that sniper. So he's right in behind there. and he finds a fat rocket onto Joey and Casper. Clean up that combo, make it a third onto Johnny. And he gets out to bats as well. Sophie with that flank, gonna clean up that mid entirely. And there we go. That's what Shovel needed. They need a clean mid here where their mid stays alive and they get to hold. And I mean, momentum is a really real thing. And Shovel, if they can fix their problems, you know, it's possible for the, you know, the gears to have just clicked. But they have such a small margin for error right now. They have this uber advantage. They need to hold on to it. Right now, we see Matt underneath, gonna jump out, gets found out, can't get his pick in time. And now, we're likely gonna see a sack play for 3600. They have players in Shutter. Zuki's getting up close and personal to them. Needs some heals, trying to get an arrow, but he gets sniped Nixie. out instantly. Fallen will trade that one back, but the defensive heavy's on a massive spawn timer, as is Soapy and Evil. Here comes an AGB! <laughs> gonna get caught out there. Fallen will keep his life around, but Matt in deep, gonna force Marty out right here. Blank and Exile getting forward, but there's only a mini sentry to find, so... You know, they've successfully got a minute or so off the clock with that uber advantage off the mid. But, you know, this is where things go wrong for Shovel, right? They show up on the mid, and it's about getting back into the groove of things that they've been struggling with. Yep, they are at about a 70% uber to start from Sack coming in right now early, trying to get something, one more shot, and he will find that rocket. Casper has to force, good play by Soapy there. Melon and Exile go down, but that's A-OK, -okay. you just want that force, nothing else. They're still in the time lead, they're going to have about a 50% add. Yeah, Evil going to get caught up, they're going for something in downtime, so... It would be nice to have him up right now. Zuki hiding by the boxes, trying to maybe punish him when gets a little bit too aggro. Finds AGB and takes some health low while he's waiting for an arrow. Perfect spot to do a ton of damage onto Adam as well. Likely gonna live, but Wish also having flanked around takes out Tsukima. So, you want your heavy up there, but Sophie trying to go for a bomb off of ramp. Gonna be hit low. Good spam from Joey Lemons, and the time's about to equalize. And again, Shovel with this ad just needs to be able to convert it. Yeah, Exile has Uber right now with Marty. They're gonna try to walk forward and get some pressure. Trying to avoid popping if possible. They're getting some arrows around, trying to get some HP. As Cap has started for Shovel, they are forcing back the side of 3600 onto their bats with some good spam. And Cap will go off without a hitch. That said, Casper, 95% Uber. Looks like 3600 is ready to go. Yep, and Uber comes out right here. But it will be a better Uber on the side of Shovel right there. Wish gonna have the beam go off of him and trades out with Spamfest in Shudder but Spamfest starting that with like three health and there is uh, Joey Lemons going down on the side Casper has escaped for now but it looks like that may not be for too long as he's trapped on boxes Soapy above him but he doesn't realize he could have just dropped down takes out Flu Walrus instead and Casper will just disappear turns on the cloaking device and walks out Blank had a massive fight there. He jumped over the roof and got the kill onto Nixie and then dropped down onto the crates to take down that heavy that could have shredded his team. So big shout out to Blank there. He's gonna have some time to run back as the scout with those long spawn timers. But Soder in great reflect from Melon, denying onto Mad. Nixie goes down as well to Soapy. And with that, they're gonna continue to hold this here. Yeah, the Nixie is dead. They need to play wide here, but they're all just getting choked off in ramp. Huge damage from Joey. Gonna force them back right there. Even Ubers right now. So they will not have the, uh, you know, Rotate and re-push through Shutter with Uber play, so they're gonna have to go off with bats. They are up by a minute here, though, which is the saving grace for Shovel right now. 
Wish had a great flank there, got two key combo picks onto Exile and Zuki, I think, and he with with those two kills, he made tons of space for his team. There's Tundra Walk 4 off it. We Huge see high bottom, bottom from Mad. I like the idea. Here. He's gonna get spam fest off it, and he's gonna try and get evil, loses his life in the end. So that's not the best trade since your spawn timer is longer, but I, I respect the attempt. Yeah, if Marty had gone out on bats, that's probably a force you're looking at. But he gets spammed out and shut her! Oh, you cannot have that happen if you're Shovel. You have such a good position to play from in this round. But AGB finds Marty and he finds Fallen now. This Uber is free. But it's 100 walking forward, cleaning up all the players they can. Adam is the only casualty in this one. And that's just a failure on all the spy checkers for the, uh, Shovel. I've got the stream up on my other monitor and I just watched that. AGB decloaked in the dead center of lobby. And yeah, just that's just a up. failure in spy that's checking. Just, that, that's not like a, you know... Like when he got him on bats in the beginning, right? He kind of went around a corner and timed it well. No, that's just a complete failure on Shuffle's end to spy check. Yeah, and that's going to cost them big here. As now Ubers are even and time takes into the favor of 3600 here. Soapy goes over the top, doesn't find a medic, does some damage to Mad, gets blasted backwards. He's trying to rebound for anything here. He will find Nixie. That's pretty big pick that he got off of what seemed like nothing. Now the frontline fight is popping off. Evil Adam are going to go down, following the headshot, but he gets stabbed off of that one. AGB on Wish, both on 5Ks. Exile is alone on the point, and we are going into the best time pause I've ever seen. All right. Let's use some critical thinking skills here, right? There's about, <laughs> we're on a 90 second delay. I know what you're going to say. There's about, it's a 90 second left, there's a 90 second left between the two teams' clocks. Unless we're seeing a pause in double overtime, which I would be a fan of, right? That is the one time you should stride call more than any other, and you need the time for it. I think it's pretty likely... I, I can hope, at least just in the interest of, you know, extending this out and not having that 4-0 that we cast or cursed ourselves here in the beginning. But, you know, remains to be seen. If it is a, if it is attack pause in double overtime, that would be wild. Yeah, what he's saying is it's likely that Shovel end up actually coming back from what we know. And to people who know how the pause system works, you would also be thinking that is a possibility. Let's not talk about that for right now. Let's talk about what we see here, because this is what's in front of us. We don't even know for sure what's going to happen. Both teams are pretty close to Uber, but man advantage and position advantage is being held by Shovel. Exile is here on this point. Nothing can really kill him that fast unless he gets triple stickied and shock and uh, flared by Johnny. If he can get help on point from Melon and Zuki here, they're looking good to get this capture and defend their time. What happens after, we have no clue what could happen. Casper could end up dying to Soapy on his walkout here from, from a secret. If that happens, I'd put them at a full Uber ad for Shovel. Yeah, and that would be exactly the type of, you know, development they need to pull this back, you know, would still be 3-1 in that case in the favor of 3600, but, you know, there, there could be any number of possibilities playing out before us, so, Casper is low in Shutter here, too. Yeah, one rocket from Soapy would do it. Yeah, and I feel like if Soapy dropped under bats when he actually could have just gotten the free kill onto Flu Walrus, so when, when Soapy went for that big, you know, wraparound play and killed Nixon and got the pack... Fool versus actually wrangling a mini just off on fans out of Soapy's sight at like 40 health and just, you know, passed right by him when he could have gotten that free kill. Flu, Flu's back right now, so can't really wrangle that mini in exile. Might be able to kill it if he rotates towards it, but it looks like he's focused on Shudder right now. Yeah, and uh, we do have some news about why this pause happened. Flu Walrus actually lagged out. He's going to be no longer able to play, unfortunately, and it looks like 3600 are getting a sub in for him. Looks like it's going to be Carson. Coming in on Engineer, we know he can play the class, so it won't be a downgrade in any right. Carson either one invite on Engineer, or got banned for trolling Invite Grand Finals on Engineer. He, he, made, <laughs> he made it to Invite Grand Finals on Engineer, at the very least, so... If I'm if I'm 3600, I'm I'm pretty happy about that. You know, you you never want your main to go, but you know this is a I'd say they're getting at least a side grade here, someone who you know can easily stand his own. So where that leaves us for the match, we still don't really know. It's Koth Engineer, probably not that much different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Flu's been putting minis on fans, and he's been putting minis in front of Shutter. Yeah, there Pulling you go. The Wrangler and playing uh, Engineer. Where's my invite medal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but while we get Carson it's a little, here... It's a little more than that, but we, yeah. I, I exaggerate, but that's what we're talking about. That's how we flame engineer players. Either way, really close in this round. Well, less than a minute on the clock for both teams, I believe. I don't know who, like, what the timers are exactly because, you know, the pause messes everything up. 
Uh, it looks like Shuffler on the capture, which means the time was in control of 3600 here, and the time was ticking. I'm going to have to HUD reload scheme to find out exactly how much is left, because we have been in this pause for a while. But yeah, everything's on the line here. For those of you tuning in recently, we're 3-1 to one here on Asheville. Third map of these lower bracket finals. 3-1 for 3600, that is. They took map 1, 4-1 to one on Asheville, or excuse me, on Product. Now, then we move to Swiftwater. Shovel fired back quickly with a 2-0 dominating performance. And that leaves us here. One more round for 3600 is all they need. They are on match point. Winner of this will come second place at a minimum. minimum and move up to grand finals from that lower bracket to take on Hood Naruto. who still have not dropped a map yet this season. Bluezer will see their season end tonight. And 3600 has positioned themselves in a fantastic place to do that. Again, only needing one more round win. They have the time advantage right now. You know, uh, Shovel has the point, but until we see how this pause plays out, you know, we could be in for another 90 seconds. We could be in for at least another round, so. Yeah, just that waiting on that sub Ooh, to come in. I don't think we've touched on this uh, Wish and Spam Fest. They're having a little intimate moment on the blue lobby stairs right now. I'm going to go check that out. Yeah, they are. <laughs> okay, well, one of them is getting... okay. Wish is actually in the health threshold to get one pump to buy Spam Fest. I want to see this happen. I want to see Spam Fest flick to this scout and just demolish him. That would be... Because neither of really them are aiming at each other right happens. now. Yeah. They got totally surprised by this turn. I think Spam Fest is a little bit closer to Wish. But they both can see each other, so they'll both know to uh, try to hit that flick right off the bat. But yeah, Spam Fest should be advantaged in that, probably just due to her having a little bit more health there. But and yeah, to be completely so many honest, things. this is such a big 1v1 because Wish has flanked the combo of Shovel multiple times from this position. And if he's able to kill Spamfest and do it again, that'd be such a big space maker for his team. Meanwhile, if Spamfest wins this confrontation, she then heals up with the pack, puts a, a mini on fans, and makes space for her own team. So this 1v1 here could be the catalyst for the rest of the round. Yeah, we've seen a ton of times tonight, actually, just how much work a single mini can do to uh, deny a cough point in, you know, those those really down-to-the-wire situations. Spamfest uh, one-man army did at one point on product, but yeah, that that could be a surprising uh, point in this match, and we didn't realize it until five minutes into the pod. Not only what would you look for, that's a Wish is actually on a 5k right now. He has the, the, the kill streak eyes going on, those red flames, looks like. Yeah, so... Uh... Let's see if Spamfest can end that 5k now. <laughs> Yeah, what's important too is that both snipers and both spot pick or all the pick classes are dead right now. So there's no, you know, no surprise kills going to be coming in from everywhere. It is, it is solely a damage game until they get back up on the field. So taking quite some time, and I'd imagine both teams are uh, probably strat, you know, using this as a both to get Carson and then taking this as a bit of a tag pause as well, since there really is so much on the line right now. And to make us talk and stall for time more, which is our favorite thing, and we don't exactly. get paid more for it. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Dolphin, we got 15 second ads by any chance. <laughs> <laughs> run, the, run them on repeat until we get the ready up. <laughs> yeah. No, then we're going to be caught in one. <laughs> it's just going to end. <laughs> yeah, we're caught in one. The game ends. It's over. <laughs> Little yeah. do we know, the match is already over. 3,600 won. They, they left from the server and they paused just to troll us. Yeah, it's just that would over. Be, that would, I might I might have to pursue a penalty on that. That would get me pretty pissed. Yeah, but still waiting on this Carson load in. Thank you all for staying with us. We know waiting for pauses is a bit of a you know tedious thing to do. It is now 11.50 on the East Coast. Technically, we're still in... If this ends in the next two rounds, like this round and the next one, we finish below midnight. Have we made it to Tuesday Highlander yet this season? I don't know. It only happens in best of threes, so probably not unless there was only week one. Yeah, that's a good question. I'm gonna go check the log. In the meantime, I'm gonna look for more funny stuff to point out because uh, other than that scout engineer one v one happening on bats, it looks like everything's pretty normal. Both teams are down. Uh, three players down for forty thirty six hundred and two down for uh shovel it's pick classes and then pick classes plus heavy which would put you at a numbers ad for shovel and considering they have fast response at the moment they're gonna get their players back first 
Other than that, there's really not much to look at other than this. We're waiting for that 1v1 on bats. We're waiting to see what happens with these medics. Who's able to keep alive? And there's the unpause. Finally, we're going. Mad ends up going down. And Spamfest loses that 1v1 wish. Comes out on top of it. Now the point is being capped up by Shovel. I don't have a HUD reload yet, so I'm not able to see what the time is. But they are going to get the capture for now and extend us. Yeah, 20 seconds, 430, 600 as the cap comes back in just a little bit under a minute. I just retried. 50 seconds now, taking down four Shovel right there. But Johnny Sophie's and Nixon go down there. Sophie getting a great bomb in right before Casper. It was about, I guess they both have, both meds have already exchanged, so those kills were in on the post. But Zuki standing tall on this point right there, and the defense comes through. Even Ubers right now, there should be enough time Watch on the Watch out for clock. AGB, looking for a pick, and he finds Melon, but Fallen actually turns around off that. Keeping your sniper life is nice, but Marty taken so low. But Casper! Fallen, Fallen with that life is going to take down Casper. Nixie finds the trade, and there's the bomb in from Mad. Two, three kills, taking down the entire combo of Shovel. And now it's about getting on the point. Wish is doing some damage. Blank contesting Adam, and Adam goes down. Nixie's still alive and reeling off headshots onto Spamfest. Point is so close to being capped. They're trying to get it down, but Johnny's low. Even we're gonna decloak, trying to get the sap and the stab. No One more shot, another shot, Evil, with some key kills. It's about running on the point now. Yeah, just, it just it's a new challenger every few seconds. Great double right here. First Sophie, then Evil, then Zuki, and just they're not able to get on it. And Shovel will extend their season here by just one more round. Three to one. As, yeah, it looks like that was the pause right, right in between rounds. So, it's not over yet. Still, though, season point, or, you know, they've put, 36 Injures put Shovel on season point right here. Exile and Jilly spamming each other back. Big health advantage for Exile early. Heard a headshot out onto someone. Sophie getting super forward. Finds Casper right off the bat. Johnny right after. Sophie showing up, but there is AGB finding two on the backside of that. As you know, I think one of those kills got stolen by Nixie. But Evil's going to take out Joey Lemons as well. So Adam is on point right now. We've seen these mid fights maybe get a bit extended. Now, AGB is getting chased down on bats. Will go down and probably not be too happy about it, but bought some uh, space for his team to cap this mid. So, unlike before, where Shovel was winning mids without losing their mid, now the opposite is true. They will have the ad here, and we'll need to convert it. Yep, normally this is favorable for the team pushing with Uber Advantage, but Melon takes a headshot out of the shutter immediately. Fallen also low, gonna need to get healed up before he can peek onto Nixie. Nixie's gonna be a big threat here, gonna peek from the bat's angles. And meanwhile, Shovel gonna drop that onto point. Exile trying to get some space, some damage forward. Bomb in, gonna get that Uber forced from the side of Shovel. They're gonna push forward, try to find what they can. Kills onto Wish, and Nixie is gonna buy them some space as they now no longer throw out Sniper, but here's Adam peeking on the crates. Does big damage to Zuki and buys his team room to move forward. No cap quite yet, but Soldier Bomb over the top. Gonna get the kill onto Exile. No demo man means they're trying their best, but Shovel gonna have to back out. Yeah, just even with that Uber, they were not able to get back in here. You know, just great kiting from 3600 to really hold that off. And now they're sitting on point and full Uber, and it's exactly what all they could have hoped for. And with that 100%, they're going to look to defend this. They have a minute up in time. Shovel didn't actually get a capture at any point. So on the Supreme back foot now, they're going to try to walk forward, get this force. Sticky's being launched, and they are going to get that Uber out of 3600. Going to get the kill on Tezuki as well. Soapy goes down in the back lines, and I wish running forward, trying to find whatever he can. Will end up getting out, but there's Fallen from the bats. Going to get that snipe onto Casper and open things up for Shovel. Great shot there. That's exactly what they needed. They are down a minute and a half here with their season on the line. A pick is the only the first domino of many that will need to fall in their favor here. But it is at least that one. Still haven't actually gotten too forward on the point now. AGB getting chased, maybe back into lobby, knowing that they're going to have to give up on him. They need to start capping here. They do not have any time to waste. As AGB does get caught out for the recontest, there is Mad putting Melon and Blank and Spamfest and still living almost at Four. full health. That's four without taking any damage from Mad. AGB and... is going off in the chat about, yes, turn for the spy, yes, because that was perfect synergy there from AGB and Mad, able to sink their decloak and bomb perfectly to kill everybody in that shutter, and that collapse was worth the point in gold. Yeah, and I mean, if we see, it'd be a little disappointed, but Shovel may go out on a flawless round from 3600 you know if there were any questions well, that's a pick in the air right they will find adam and joey though uber coming out right now casper does not have yet getting chased out sophie's in so deep but casper starts all the way back up to spawn bumps his head on the ceiling but it's still enough to get him all the way out the cap will be coming in but it's going to be about a two minute 40 second hill to climb right now for a shovel if they want to keep this thing going
Yep, they need to not make any mistakes from here on out, and they're gonna have to play their kites perfectly. Casper is up on Uber for 3600, and they're rolling out. Looks like Bats and Shutterside gonna be looking to make this push happen. They need to kite this, they need to keep Marty alive, and they need to get the recontest once overtime hits. Yeah, having Uber just that is so big here. AGB going down should help with that, but Zuki gets sniped out in Shutter. The Heavy is not the class you want to lose early. They are gonna kite up to Bats right there. Blank dancing for his life will go down, as does Evil. Exile gets knocked down. That uh, could be really bad. And Joey's gonna take him out. 1v1 win coming up big. Marty goes down in lobby. Mad coming in on a sick bomb takes him out. And that might just be the victory lap right there. Yeah, Marty probably gonna need to come up on quick fix here. That's gonna be their best chance to try and get this and hold it, but Casper up on 50%, even if this gets sold over time. Yeah, he needs to find something on this decoy Yeah, here. he needs something big. A double kill on, on fans to start. He gets one and Fallen gets the other. That's a start. They're bombing forward now, doing some damage, trying to get some point, some presence on point. They get Joey down, they get Johnny down, and Wish drops to blank. So that's going to be a lot of picks. They keep their medic alive. And importantly, Casper's not charging right now, so they are able to recap this. But Spy, you have to turn around! There it is! AGB is stab onto Marty! No one gets the Spy check there at all. And with that, they're going to get the cap but they extend their medic spawn. Mad's out here trying to find anything. He will die, but the ball is firmly in 3600's court. That is just... We've seen a couple of misplays from 3600 in regards to Spy. That could be the worst, and then Soapy gets telecamped by AGB. This is just... This is a tragic way for this match to end, but 3600 is running into Shudder. They see it, they can taste it, and with a few more pixels, it will be theirs. 3600 will be taking second place at a minimum for Invite Season 10, moving on after a 4-1 score on Asheville, just like on Product. And they'll be taking on Hood next week in Grand Finals. Amazing game overall from both teams. Shout out to 3600 who were able to take this. 4-1 to one on both Koth maps means that they have a firm advantage in that map type going forward. I feel like this is definitely their stronger type. Everyone knows their stronger type, and they show that they they can be dominant on it. They have the pieces to make it happen. They have some weaknesses to take care of. Payload, notably, is a very weak spot for them, seeing how they got crushed by uh, Shovel here on Swiftwater. But either way, they're moving on. Unfortunately for Shovel, their season will be ending here. Yeah, I mean, we knew coming into this that they were likely going to be fighting with 3600 for third place. And... You know, my own, my own personal feelings aside, 3600 has proved themselves to be the better team consistently throughout the season. Be it in scrim results, be it in matches, you know, be it in, in performance against other teams, 3600 has proven themselves to be at least the second place team, that they are better than Shovel, and they show a pretty dominant, you know, in a pretty convincing way here. Yeah, pick ban just not able to be overcome there by Shovel, and... Yeah, condolences to them. They had a pretty good season overall. Some think, you know, it's an overperformance, underperformance, whatever. They tried their best. They're a good team. They're just not able to get past 3600 on tonight. So, yeah, with that third place for them, unfortunately falling out here. And next week is the Grand Finals. Yeah, I think if we cut it now, we can avoid Tuesday Highlander. Do yeah, we can do, do some, some, some shout-outs and plugs uh, as fast as we can. Yep, all right. So, uh, Zag, I'll, I'll let you hit up the... No. I'll let you hit up the... <laughs> uh, Your turn. All right, get the latest and greatest TF2 drip to show off to your friends from the RGL merch store. It features amazing designs such as Minimalist Sunshine and the Overgrown Scattergun, along with newly introduced Witness Gaming merch to congratulate them on the past season of Invite Sixes. Proceeds go to our hardworking designers, teams, prize and the prize pools. So, exclamation point merch in chat. Check them out. I can vouch they are not your standard you know, kind of cringy video game merch. You can wear this in public. People will not assume you are maladapted, and that's about the highest recommendation I can give. Highest praise for a TF2 player. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's going to be that. And I think, I don't know if the Witness Gaming fundraiser is still going on right now. It is. Uh, is that exclamation point Witness in chat, I believe? To uh, check that out since... Uh, Witness from Witness Gaming wants to send Witness Gaming to uh, compete against Witness Gaming at the Copenhagen LAN over in Perfect. Europe. So sending a bunch of uh, TF2 players, well adapted or not, across an ocean takes a lot of money. So if, you, if you're in the mood, you know, check it out, help them get over there and uh, get some sweet swag while you're at it. So we've got swag, we've got drip. What other, what other, what, what word do I need to hit to complete the trifecta here? I don't know.
<laughs> dolphins just merchandise sure we'll, we'll juxtapose that with merchandise but yeah that will be it from us tonight there's not really much to say congratulations to 3600 for securing second place in a spot in the grand finals meanwhile shovel condolences but you guys had a good season third place for you guys thank you for playing and thank you all for watching join us next monday for the highlander invite season 10 grand finals between 3600 and hood normally we'd say in a week from now but we've made it to tuesday here on the east coast so in six days we'll be catching you again so thanks for watching and we'll see you in six days